Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome hey. to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games, very new games on classic consoles. And welcome to everybody who's joined us today, because we've been uh, a little hiatus, yeah, uh, forced hiatus, because work comes up and you just have to do it, and you unfortunately have to cancel yeah, doing we... things that are unpaid. Sadly, <laughs> it is our hobby. It's... And it's fun, and it's a nice relaxing thing to do, and it's enjoyable, and we want to do it. But things get in the way, and it sucks, but I'm glad everybody's here to join us. Yeah, absolutely. And they're very dedicated, and, <laughs> and I'm glad that it doesn't go down. This mute here, is that is that us? Maybe. Let me just check here. One second... Oh, the need of money sucks. So oh, I, I, you're I, there's, mute. Oh, there's my no God. way that I can hear you guys. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> good, because I had to change a bunch of stuff today, which we'll get into. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, good. So it's okay. Sorry, you're freaking me out, man. Yeah. Ricardo Pim, Holy freaking me cow. out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and we're on time. Click, like, synced up. Good. Hey, cats are here. Yeah, even um, pixels here, man. Yeah. So welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, four games today. That's exciting. Uh, it was almost a fifth game, but the fifth one didn't sneak in, so I bumped it to uh, the next show. And five is always a lot. I it's think five pushing is, Five it. is the max. They unless... have to be really tiny games. To, yeah, to there's like one in. button Joe. Or I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember yeah. that was what it was called. That, but... that would be an appropriate one for yeah. five games in a day. Like Maybe the... maybe two buttons Sally. We can <laughs> sneak in. That's, right. <laughs> That's about it. That's right. Uh, the games today are Spiderweb, uh, Asteroids Attack, uh, a mystery game. Oh, All man, I'm three have not that. been talked about in Atari age, so a lot of people don't know about these three games, actually. So you went deep into the vault. I watch. I watch. I scour the <laughs> web. I make sure I don't miss any games. That's and, good. And people come to me and tell me about games, which is really great because uh, it makes my job That's a lot easier. That's a Christmas present is what that is. It's, it's wonderful. Um, and we're going to be playing Zookeeper because there's been a big update. That's amazing. He's released a, a public new public demo of it. And also, um, it's also part of the High Score Club um, competition. Oh, wow. So, so gonna that's like nine birds with one stone. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. It's great. So Dan AVC is here. Um, I think that's the name of the competition. I'm probably screwing up. But yeah, but I remember. It's, it is a High Score competition. Um, and Which Dan, the... Dan holds it. So he's here Yeah, and he'll correct us shortly <laughs> if we screw up hot 2020 harmony games. There's a lot of competitions out there. There we go. And he is basing the competition, the harmony games off of the winners ah. of the 2019 Atari homebrew awards. That's amazing that it all connects together like that. That's... It's such synchronicity. So this is obviously the work in progress winner is a zookeeper so we'll be playing that to get today see we did screw up just like last year yeah so he did that last year as well oh, that's great for news. our last uh, award show so i want to thank all the twitch subscribers that support the show cafe man 2d charles and check dietrich iv i probably dietrich four yeah uh, Dionoid 77, Drexel, Amanda Ferreira, Gredham's Ground Trooper, Gix 1978, Johnny WC 23, Kalel Prime 1959, Carl G, Laud Mott, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC 70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Spartan 581, S. Ramirez 2008, The Welshman 89, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan. Okay, thank you so much. And somebody apologized earlier oh, about not subscribing. And who was that? There he is. Uh, it was Dan, actually. Oh, Dan, Dan ABC. He said, if you're wondering why I'm not a subscriber to Zero Page Homebrew, it's because I subscribe to another stream I watch on Mondays. But I'm always here, mostly. Hey, man. That's it's fine. I, I, don't it's mind, fine. I don't mind being someone's side chick. It's all that's right. right. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're here, that's all we care about. It's great. And um, Thrush says, early, early show today. It's because of Daylight Savings Time. Ah. And also, Daylight Savings Time is not the same day around the world. Really? Which must make programmers just insane for automatically changing clocks and synchronizing databases. And... It's a nightmare. I yeah. mean, I guess it's interesting. Cause... Are you going to cause trouble? Oh, he is. You can you can just tell. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It was nice having you here for a couple seconds. 
Well, yeah, it's it's funny. We like to think that like time is this rigid, finite thing, but when yeah. you actually think, it's like, well, it is geographic, and then it comes down. It's crazy to think that it could be one p.m. at many places <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, one day it's the same time, and next day it's an hour off, and. I think some states in North America and some provinces don't participate. And I wish we, and there's always every year when it yeah. comes up a month before or a week before daylight savings time, it's always in the news. Oh, they're thinking about dropping it and getting rid of it. And then it never happens for decades. They, yeah. It happens every year. And now with Apple, it's no issue. Like your phone updates. It's, oh, I remember all, when, all computers, yeah. but I remember when that wasn't the case and sometimes you just show up to school and you, <laughs> like, you, you'd either, I remember showing up to school at one point and just feeling like, where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, and then did people, I get not get the note? Yeah. Uh, Cause you just, it's just like the stove clock that doesn't change. Like there yes, wasn't that yeah. automatic, like now it's so much easier, but you still have the microwave and the stove and unless you have really expensive appliances that, that automatically do it hooked it's... up to the internet i don't know if my appliances need to be hooked up to the internet um thanks for everybody showing up as well for our live broadcast on twitch oh actually um you can support the show on amazon prime by linking amazon prime to twitch prime and clicking subscribe and that's how you get your name on the list and you support the show um Eve's discussing dropping it too. I hope they continue discussing. So that they drop it? Or Dude, just so the they EU don't does, drop it? does, man. They discuss. discuss. They're great <laughs> at discussing. Um, uh, Thrust26, Trey Guys in the chat today, the D Train37, and he said he just signed up again as a oh, subscriber. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I was a subscriber, Dan ABC, but I ended subbing to another Twitch. You know, spread the love. Oh, don't it's worry about it, man. I was just teasing you. It's <laughs> yeah, great. Just... Oh, Dios Kilos hey, came man. in. Uh, Ricardo Pim, Carl G, uh, Trey Guy, uh, lots of chat, P1H4, uh, Ground Trooper, Dianoid77, favorite programmer. Yes, Dianoid. <laughs> <laughs> and Carl G. It takes me about six months to adjust to the time change. And by then, it's time to change back. Yeah, I, I'm the opposite. It takes me... Almost, I don't even notice it because I, I'm not, I, my time is not really, I'm not a schedule person. Like I, An hour doesn't throw me off No, too much not at all. Because I, I don't have to wake up at a certain time. Exactly. I mean, I have to wake up to do work. And if there's a lot of work, I have to wake up at a certain, like earlier. But I generally don't have an appointment in the mornings. And I don't make them for the morning. And the only time I have to wake up early is if I'm going on vacation. Yeah. And then I have to go to the stupid airport and be there 50 hours before the plane takes off. Yeah, because I like working in such a way where you have tasks and you have to get them done and they're fine. You know, I like working much more like um, goal-oriented. Like, yes. you get up and you're like, I got to get this done today. Yep. And if this happens like at 10 or 11, it's not my life. It doesn't change. <laughs> right. But I w it needs to get done. I yep. love that versus I know some folks have the kind of, really this is the 9 to 5, but then that where there's a kind of a block of time that you Sometimes work. Sometimes I like and, that. They like regimented things. Yeah. People, some people work better with like, I'm told to start at 9 and finish at 5, and that way I'll get my work done. I know my, my, my you know, my limits and, and what I have to get done before 5. And also, I, I am convinced your biology, like your programming starts to click into that, of course, that rhythm, yeah. and then and then that can be really useful. I know for some people, and that's for the people I bet daylight saving time is just devastating <laughs> for. Yeah. Um, so mail, news, and feedback. Um, so this game, UFO LCD, um, made by Scott Dayton, uh, Neo Games. I was going to almost have it for today, um, but it's going to be next week because I couldn't get the binary in time to tell everyone because we'll have an exclusive premiere of it next week. This is only being sold on cartridge. Wow. So there is no binary. If you want to play the game, you have to get it on cartridge. But bold we're, move. We're, <laughs> yeah, that's a bold move. Uh, in Did he put even put it into the Atari age forums? I don't think so. Um, so even bolder move. <laughs> even bolder, but uh, they're almost all sold. Um, he says I'm taking pre-orders for UFO LCD. Uh, 24 out of the 30 copies are available. The game recreates the classic LCD handheld games from the past, which are like these games. 
these Game & Watch things, if anybody has played these before. Oh, they're really, yeah. really simple. They're, they're not like animated. They're more like things are in spots. You move up, you move like the whole character up a chunk. And they're by things are coming at you. You have to move out of the way or go through a little maze. And they're very simplistic games. And these were like early, early home games that you could have yeah. kind of before like pre game consoles. boy kind of stuff yeah this is predates the game boy and actually the controls for these types of handhelds not this one were the first d-pads wow yeah so they had the d-pad on the right this one only has two buttons yeah but i have other ones that have d-pads and that's where they came from if i'm not mistaken somebody could correct me that was the first d-pad um Rule of thumb, no ROM, no good. <laughs> Thrust doesn't like non-ROMs. In the era of the internet, I can understand that. Um, yeah, some people want to protect what they have. Yeah. Um, but I, I find in general, uh, games sell anyways. But yeah, um, Because people like the collecting aspect of it, especially if they're, they're, there's only 30 of them. But everybody's different, and the great thing is you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Um, the game you create, uh, strange alien creatures are invading and the only thing you can do to survive is run. Uh, game should ship within two weeks. Uh, message me to pre-order. I'll send you the information. Includes Atari style cardboard box, UFO, LCD game cartridge, full color manual, sticker, box protector, and more. The game will be $50 plus shipping, $5 USA by location everywhere else. And so we'll have to be an exclusive premiere of this new game on Sunday's broadcast. Yes, Sunday! Not Friday because, again... Uh, <laughs> the show's being bumped because of work. Oh, yeah. But I wanted to get a second show in this week because we've been kind of sketchy with the schedule. Yeah, again, we got a weird thing Friday that we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Not a, not, not, it's not not fun. It's just a very strange thing. <laughs> yeah, we have to drive doing. a long way. And so that totally takes a chunk out of our day. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's a weird one, but. Yeah, so I've moved it to Sunday. Road trip. CPH yeah. road trip. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Um, streaming from the car while yeah. Dave drives. <laughs> have their cell phone streaming. We'll have a little portable handheld gaming right. system. I have an Atari 2600 portable system. <laughs> this is we good. could do it from there. Dash cam. Yeah, no. No, we won't. That's how... Luckily, if we do get in a car crash, it will be recorded. So Yeah, so that we would totally be at fault. <laughs> we, so, it's so we could completely prove that, <laughs> that we're the assholes who are more interested yeah. in gaming than driving. Terrible, terrible. Um, and I put it on sa Sunday because Saturday we're having a movie marathon, but we can get into that later for some filler content. Yeah, <laughs> the filler content. Sure. Um, another uh, email I got from Jens at Angelsoft about a game we played. Um, I think it was Tanya's day. Um, uh, facing that you you were challenged, so challenged by pay, playing Pilot X, this was a game that you would navigate downward through kind of underground caverns, and your ship was almost as wide as the the cavern itself yeah that's and you a, moved that's challenging very slowly through it and it was so brutal like really 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 hard um so this is the developer got back to me about it because i found it really really hard i decided to build a new version of the game your experience showed what ne needed to be improved and with the help of stefan and thomas Jens, uh, a new version 1.1 evolved Initially, the ship is smaller now, and some tricky areas in the labyrinth have been polished. You can select the difficulty now uh, level now with the switch. There are some flashing objects in the lab now, uh, and when exploding, you can see where you touch the labyrinth. Maybe you want to try it again. So we might schedule that for a future broadcast. It's not much easier. <laughs> I gave it a try. It's, <clears throat> it's marginally easier, but before it was really tough, and I made it kind of far, but oh my god, that's a tough game. Um, but you, you can download that from his website, angel-soft.de, um, and download it from there. Oh, and the UFO LCD, if you wanted to check that out, it's in the Facebook group, Atari 2600 Homebrew, and just search for UFO. It should be the one that comes up first. Um, so we're going to get into the first game, which is Spiderweb, but before that... You can see in the mini webcam there, there's an Atari 2600 Junior on the top there. We're going to be playing on real hardware again hey. today. Now, I, I, 
I talked about this and I ordered a while back a composite mod for Atari an Atari Junior. It works with all the Ataris. Um, as an interim kind of solution until we get the, oh, it's just off the frame of the camera, until we get the uh, Light Sixter, Light Sixer RGB uh, fixed. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, man. It's so that's sad. The, that's the, the crown jewel. It it's is. It's like the Mercedes, you know. And it really made me appreciate how good the output is mm. on that RGB mod modded system after playing this for a little while. Fucking with this oh, it's man. a little it's a little soft. Um so we'll see how it goes and whether it's good enough. It's better than RF, but it's it's not RGB. Yeah. Like RGB now it almost looks exactly like Stella. It's so close. Um but this allows us to Play, test hardware, man. Test hardware, play with paddles, play with the thing you're going to hear when we power up <laughs> yeah. that we've been missing for a while, and, and play games on cartridge that are nowhere else, like the game that sent us today. Um, and there's also something about pulling out a cartridge and jamming it in the slot. And, yeah. You know, Real when James hardware. leaves the room, I pull it out and I blow it out and I spit in it. and I, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Polish it off with your shirt. You know, sometimes. Yeah. Just, you know, just Rub to it make on the sure it. it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're wondering why the RGB went out, I'm just saying that. <laughs> yeah. You know, one day it worked, one day it didn't. <laughs> Happened to be Not putting it. blame on anyone, but... <laughs> It's him. We're it's not su we're not supposed him. to pour coffee over there. <laughs> no, it doesn't like coffee. It doesn't perk it up. And you avoid cheating, yes, which Thrust uh, brought up when I said online when I posted pictures that I got it working because um, Thrust, you can't cheat anymore. Ha ha ha. Yeah, there's some there's <laughs> it can be a crutch for sure. We have to be careful about that time machine. It's yeah. a bit too easy to just be like rewind. I died, but um, it is useful and. The time machine is is actually very helpful when testing out games. It's like, oh, how did I just die? Yeah, and like even like that one area where you're like trying to do the jump in um, the stacks, yeah. just to be able to test and see is this actually impossible? Like, and we discovered it was. <laughs> it was impossible. <laughs> just for us, maybe it's possible for like a bot. It's possible. Oh yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. but I but then that's very interesting. It's like it's a, yeah, that means it's way too tough. Yeah. If you can't, like, you have three lives and you can't make it in any 20, 20 40 in infinite tries. Yeah, it's it's too tough. And to show off VHSC's uh, <laughs> spider, you know. Yeah, <laughs> gets to the, get to the end of some games. Just to show it off, not to say we completed it yeah. properly. It's like, no, we definitely did not complete it properly. But if you want to show a full game... Um, but yeah. it's nice, but it can be a, a problem where you just end up hitting the yeah. thing. And, then it, and, then and that's no... You just don't want to watch us... Just no. fucking rewind every game. Cheating, cheating every day. No. So we, we, we want to beat the game ourselves. by rewinding every time we die. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Oh, Captain Classic, thank you so much for subscribing. Subscribe for three months. Yes. Awesome. Hate that Amazon requires you to resubscribe with your free Twitch sub. Glad you guys are back after your break last week. Thank you so much, yeah, Captain man, Classic. We're you. bad. We're so glad we're back too. We yeah. missed this. And, uh, and I'm sorry about Twitch Prime. Yeah, oh. I wish it just automatically resubscribed but i guess it wants you to be interactive and like actively resubscribe and not just let it impossible so this is on the issue list it is impossible okay great so added it to the list yeah. and, and i didn't mean to like zone in on something <laughs> i was just it was the example that i could think of yeah but uh um so let's uh get into the games with uh spiderweb and i can talk more more about my modding Adventures. Oh, sounds so, good. There you go. Oh man, this is classic. So, you got a Genesis controller. Yeah. So hold down uh, the middle button if you remember B? all about that. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Back into this world. That's fun. So I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Now B. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, I missed that so much. It's so good. <laughs> it is. Yep. Yeah. HAL 9000. There we go. Oh, now I have to remember to switch over this now. And then we can only see it on there, which is kind of the same. Uh, so, oh yeah, back to the bottom right. Yeah, so I, I try and keep it and in folders so it's nice and easy. And then it's the 
ROM? ROM? Yeah, not the PDF. <laughs> Can't run ROM. PDFs on an Atari 2600. Okay. Man, the signal seems better through Twitch than, than what I'm seeing on your computer. Am I wrong? Sorry, well, what that, I'm seeing on the computer the, seems better than the TV. That's what I mean. I think that's I mean. an illusion because if you've ever seen something big and then you shrink it down to your ah. phone and it's like, oh, it's so crisp and clean on my but, phone. But you see like the, the blue kind of almost flickery? I don't see the same. Or maybe it is. Um, it's also possible the contrast might be showing. I did slight adjustments to try and optimize the look of it. Because that's that might be digital noise that's just being hidden by the blacks of this. Yep, it it could be encoding, yeah. um, just ignoring it or crunching it down. Um, so there is a PDF which I didn't transfer over to my handheld here oh no but I can I can get it as we as we go through it and discuss it so this is spider web uh, 2020 work in progress by Cooper Dalrymple I think that's how you say it. Cooper Cooper well, we're gonna call him Cooper so we only have to say his last name once uh, so this was first posted November 18th 2019 um, and this build is from March 2nd 2020 so nine days ago it's a 4k game um, this is his first game, wow. and it's available from Cooper's website, uh, DC Dal Rimple, D C D A L R Y M P L E dot com. And I uh, ran across this game actually on Reddit. Whoa! Of all places, that crazy cesspool <laughs> of insanity. <laughs> Depends which subreddits you're subscribed to. Some Ooh. are great. Some are terrible. <laughs> is is a wild? That's the wild west, man. If there was yeah. a wild west. Looks like my comp. Composite modded console. Yeah. D A L R Y M P L E. You got it. There we go. The hive of scum and villainy. Oh my god, yeah. Reddit, That's the man. noise of the junior video signal. Okay. Gotta be careful asking any questions on Reddit because you will get an answer and you will not like that answer. And <laughs> Probably, God knows if it's true. <laughs> and possibly a hundred answers to your inbox as well. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a sensitive place. So he. So he wrote uh, on Reddit uh, on March 1st, I've been working on a new 2600 game called Spiderweb. Any of you Redditors want to give it a try before I finalize the code and start making cartridges? It's always uh, LDODO2DI. Is that how say it? Uh, Reddit is where I saw it, yeah. I'm surprised not all developers are on Atari Age forums. Yeah. Like, it's so huge. And, you know, they post on their own web page or they post it on... Um, Facebook or even Reddit. This this is one yeah. of the rare occasions that I've seen a game only first post on Reddit. But it was on the twenty six hundred Atari twenty six hundred uh, subreddit. Um, I was happy to see, and then I then somebody I saw it, and somebody had already said, um, try contact. Oh, that's the person. Uh, try contacting the people at Zero Page Homebrew. On Twitch or YouTube, they play new homebrews for Atari Whoa. 2600 on the show. So we automatically got recommended by that person right there that hey, made that comment. holy cow. Um, they didn't reply to it, so I'm going to play it anyway. Yeah. And I actually messaged, uh, messaged him um, via his website, and he did reply to that. Awesome. Um, he said, hi, James. I really appreciate your interest in my game. I'm definitely excited to see it featured on your stream. Um, you can pull whatever information you want uh, from my site or GitHub, but I'll give you a quick synopsis while I'm at it. And let's get into the game, actually. Cool. Um, and okay, I'm just gonna jump in and we'll find out, I guess. Or should you got any um, instructions? Yeah, I'm gonna bring up the instructions first if I can find them again. Cool. Come on, come on. Come I'm guessing. That you are you're navigating a spider web. You are the spider trying to build your web. You are a fly attempting to not be <laughs> devoured by. A spool. We'll just find one out. of those things. Yeah, one of those things. Now, where is his instructions? Let's go to his website. I think they might be there. Uh, under retro. I might just jump in. We'll yeah, just... yeah, you can jump in. Just Whoa. so we're not. So you are the spider. Okay. Yeah. So do I? Do you think I? 
Okay. Where's his instructions? Damn it. Interesting, so... Up there. Okay, so I'm not sure how... What the goal is yet. Do I dodge things? I'm getting... Is that... Well, you've got level, you've got points, and you've got hit points. So, so far, the pink things appear to be giving me, like, stuff. And uh, they're killing your hit points. Use the button. Oh, I have a... I guess I have a shot that I take. Yeah. Do I have to shoot those things? Yes. Then and, then I them. and then I grab it? Oh, yeah. cool. Uh... And then I we don't have know the... where the instructions are, so I'm going to use it off the computer. And then we also have the laser that appears to be... That would uh, be a fly swatter. A blue... Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Whoa. What is going on here? Paint things are the flies. Spider needs to eat the flies. Avoid this fly swatter. Yes, so you've got the basics there. So, Whoa. Spider web. Let me look it up. So it's very... Uh, interesting not being on Stella again for the first time in a while because I'm definitely noticing like it's hard to know the what is in terms of just the graphical interface like the look of the thing it's hard to know how much is the game and how much is our new stream because <laughs> you see it's kind of fractured almost it feels right it's and, a little janky it, yeah janky yeah. is the word and there's nothing wrong with that it was just interesting So there's a two-player variation. Okay, so the spider web just changed. The world is a dangerous place for a spider. <laughs> this is the fact... Preach, brother. <laughs> this is the fact that Lydia, the spider, knows too well. Your name is Lydia. Lydia. Oh, Day to day, Lydia. she must build her delicately spun web. No, I'm going to get this on my hand. That's yeah, why. So much I can't. It's long. Dude, I just... Sh Lydia just spat on this fly swatter. At what so in level eight got 12 points i think the points reset every level um and you have to work up to a certain number of points see and like then it's uh, at the moment my okay. only idea is i'm just shooting these things and then trying to avoid the fly swatter yep and then just trying to like rise up in the ranks. <laughs> rise up yeah i think that's I, think. I hope Lydia someday has some baby spiders, and this isn't just <laughs> to help a her out. Sisyphusian world of just <laughs> fucking forever shooting, unending, <laughs> just this nightmare, like a like a like a friggin' salmon swimming upstream to just, just die. To die. <laughs> this um, Lydia, I think you might have hit it on the head. I did you ever? Did happens. you ever read Charlotte's Web? A long time ago, I think. Dark yeah. ending to that book, man. Holy cow. Yes. Just dies right Yeah. Now. <laughs> I remember as a kid, you like. Spells something out and dies. Exactly. And it's, it's like, oh, God. And you're like, is that just all life is? They're like, yup. That's like, your lesson today, kids. <laughs> and you're eight, and you're like, what? <laughs> no. I was in love with this spider. It's like, yeah, I guess what? In the real world, people die, Erwin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real world, kid. Uh, there we go. Now we go. I'm on day, level nine, Lydia. Day to day, she must build her delicately spun web and defend it from pesky bugs and ornery humans. Fuck these! That, those are the ones you really gotta look out for. Oh, yeah. those fucking humans. With her unique set of stunning skills, maybe these irritating bugs can become a delightful treat. Single variation, which we're playing right now. Yes. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm just getting harder, man. I was going to say it's getting easier, but they're very erratic. Like, you see the movements. It's good. It's like I'm on level 9, so it should be harder. But you see, like, it's it's like... It almost feels, like, lucky when I hit them now. Because you see how much they're they're kind of... of noise. They're skipping around, you know? Yeah. They are moving pretty like, quick. I kind of... See, there I got one. But then it's almost hard once you get one to even, like, recover from it. Like, I don't know, it almost feels lucky when I hit them now. Because really? they're moving so fast. Well, because you see, they, they skip around so much that it's hard to almost predict where they'll be. So I just sort of shoot and then hope. Oh, D-Train says, but her babies go out into the world. Like the, in Charlotte's Web. It's true. Yeah. I guess that's like, that's your first, you know, introduction into biology. It's like, guess what? Your existence is to prolong other existences. <laughs> uh, this variation could be proved more difficult because the player is required to both evade and stun bugs using the same directional input while avoiding the swatter. This game has a twin stick uh, variation. 
where it can use two joysticks, one to move and one to aim. Isn't it funny that our health... Oh, no. Lydia! <laughs> Lydia's upside down. And, and yeah. unlike Charlotte, she didn't have babies. <laughs> She's done. No, I'm just dead. Okay, so here you can read the objective. Oh, it's perfect. And I'll give it a go. The objective of spider web is simple. Protect your web and survive as long as possible. You can move around your web in any direction to avoid getting hit by the two bugs flying sporadically around your web and the human's swatter, which is both trying to help and hurt you. Using your stunning powers, you can fire at the bugs to stop them in their tracks and leave them vulnerable. Once you've stunned a pesky bug, you can eat it and increase your strength. Be careful though, because your stunning ability won't last forever. As you continue to stun and eat bugs, your environment will change and the bugs a human will become more, excuse me, erratic, moving faster and swinging their swatter harder and more often. Ow, ow! Try your best to manage the bugs and avoid the swatter to make it all the way to the end. And then console controls, and this level select matrix, and I think that's it. Okay. Uh, so there's a two player variation. Yeah. There's a twin stick single player variation. And we should definitely try that out. Absolutely. Yeah. Because that's quite different controls. Like one of us could play one joystick and one one can play the other. Um, because we don't really have a good twin stick setup. We do have two sticks, but Yeah, so I don't see your health going up oh, as much. We're starting at level seven. I think the um can you read out the level matrix? Yeah, sure. Let me... Because I think we start on a higher level than what you're supposed to begin with. Let's see. Just I think I was playing around with. Yeah, okay, I'm on so, AB right now. Um. Oh yeah. So. Uh. So we're starting on like a level left, six or seven. Yeah, left difficulty. Yeah, you can. We can start on either one, six, eleven, or sixteen. Oh, uh, okay. So we're. Yeah, so I think we start, start on six. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't like purple? Who doesn't like this color. No, he's. You're saying it's a lot of. Yeah, I can see when you're on the bottom and you shoot. Look at the screen. Yeah. It's a bit of a glitch there, so... Well, they're saying a few things, like it seems to be inconsistent in the number of scan lines. Yes. And then it's, uh... And they're saying colors are a lot different on PAL. On the PAL version? Yeah, and they uh, say, um, uh, the color in the middle of the top row. Top row? Like the, the uh, points? Yeah, it says colors... Um, he said, yes, a few glitches, also the color in the middle of the top row. Oh, okay. Uh... It's, it's kind of brown, I guess. <laughs> the 8 and the 40 look the same. Is there a PAL version of this? Or just when you play it on PAL? So I didn't see a PAL version, I just saw the Unless it's an auto sensing uh, ROM. What level did you get up to? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> and does I think the points reset? Yeah, when you there's a certain amount of points it seems before you gain a did, level. Did it say how many you have to get? Interestingly, no. Oh, yeah, it reset to it's around forty something. Yeah, 50, I'll look and maybe? see if it says, but I didn't. It didn't seem to. Ow, almost dead. You don't get po your hit points back until the next level. Oh I man, I flipped back to the beginning and they have they have a helpful hints. Oh good. Let's read the helpful hints. We need some. Avoid staying close to the sides for too long. Bugs oh. will respawn near the edges of the playfield once oh. eaten and you may catch you off guard. Oh. Always keep moving. If you stand still, the swatter may have a better chance of hitting you. Eh. Once you've stunned a bug, keep firing at it with your stunning ability as you approach it. It will make sure that it remains oh. still until you eat it. That's a good idea. Actually. Yeah, and if you're having Ow. trouble progressing beyond a certain level, try the difficulty switches to practice at a higher level. Oh, that's a good tip. Yep, that one's a good one. Let's see. Yeah, though, no, that's it. Down to my last health point. Oh, no. Almost to 40 points. But 
Get to level 10. Go. Yeah, I want to get to level 10. No, no. Ah, they're cornering me. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, there's only so much. And you see how it, at a certain Holy point, four. like, I do feel like the... Oh, you can do another one. Let's go back to... Do you want the Matrix to know, like, what? Uh, well... What, what difficulty is what? Yeah, what was it? It, it was says, one. so if we do, like, left difficulty B... Yep, which is... Okay. Seems to be Level novice. One. But it's interesting. Oh, novice. Okay. So we're on novice. Yes. We're on right difficulty B, which is novice. Yeah. And left difficulty A which is expert, so it's level 6. So we can go to level 11, which we haven't earned. Though. Yeah. So we haven't really earned level 6, but we, yeah. did, we did okay on level 6, so I think we can make it up to that. Cool. Um, it's a transition between uh, playfield score colors. Um, it looks like about half the screen. Yep. Makes sense. Because you can set a certain switch so that you can set player 1 and player 0 as half the screen funky things like that. Oh, they sing that color like right in the center. Yeah, there. I see kind it of, now. It's I like, see it too, yeah. They've got a little um, little line. A little flag going on there. It's yeah, like, so that might be it. Looks the, like the France problem. is <laughs> or something, you know? Yeah. A little sideways France. Um, maybe we can try the twin stick thing now. Oh, sure. Okay, so I'll give you this. Do you want to shoot or do you want to move? I, either is fine with me. Okay, well, you can move. I'm going to have to plug the Atari box. Atari box. I'm not going to reset the game. I'm just going to plug it in. Hopefully it won't complain. Freak out. Okay, box reset. Okay. Now, how do we start? I'm going to press my button. Wow. Oh, yep. I'm shooting. Oh, you can shoot in any direction, too. Yep. Oh, it's actually <laughs> pretty easy. Because it's much easier to, to shoot. Because I can just aim while you're moving and getting another one, I can aim for that one. Oh yeah, this is great. Co-op. Man. Kicking ass. What was her name? Lydia? Lydia. Lydia. Lydia finally got some backup <laughs> on this ride. Oh yeah. So this would be good if you had a good um, twin stick kind of set up where you could um, yeah this is a way better system whoa whoa what happened to that our guy stream? was just going after i like the sound <laughs> like electric sounds whoa <laughs> Yeah, and because we're we're doing a lot better, yeah. I think our health is also like at a oh, decent place way too. way up. Because even though I've been hit a bunch, um, we're just we're also just like killing so many more of these guys. Oh yeah. Whoa, that one just spawned right on top of us. Yeah, like we just got like a double one right there. Whoa, yeah, but it, now oh. we're in level nine. I think I don't think I made it to level nine, and so no. I'm, I'm feeling like Ooh, it, there's a bit of a bug there on the left hand side when you're traversing it. There's nothing but bugs. There's <laughs> nothing but bugs. They're all intentional. <laughs> all the bugs are intentional. That's right. Oh, level. Well, yeah, I've definitely go. never been on here. This is no. uh, this is where Marvel starts to <laughs> <laughs> starts to flag the IP. <laughs> That's right. Spider Boy! <laughs> yeah, it's getting too close to, to what we own. Man, you know, Sony fought tooth and nail to do a deal with Marvel. They were going to stop the Spider Man IP because Sony owns Spider Man. Did 
Do they still own Spider-Man? Uh, no, they they settled and they figured out a deal, but I think they wanted like 100% of the revenue. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite work of, so well. Of, of something, <laughs> of, of just the standalone ones, I believe. Right. And they were sort of structuring the Marvel movies for him to be like kind of the new hero. Right. So you could just tell him, Sony knew they were like... But also he's the only like real like up-and-coming star, Tom Holland. Mm. Did... Did um, Disney not buy out uh, the Spider-Man as well, or is it still? No, I think Sony? Sony still owns it. Same with uh, Fantastic Four. Correct. <laughs> and the and they and the problem is is they they always came to deals with all the Marvel movies and stuff. But basically, the biggest movie that opened was Far From Home right. in the summer, and they're like, guys, this is crazy. Eleven. Holy crap, yeah. Level this 12. Is, this is getting intense. Like, you can even just tell we're in the pits of hell. Oh, yeah. Dark brooding colors. Dark timeline. Oh, yeah, that one was hard to almost see because, like, you hit that one, but it's the same it's color. As the background, So I, yeah. it took me a second to even, like, realize because, see, like, that is... Oh, 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 I'm just oh. getting wailed on. Well, you just avoid them till they stop moving. That's all you need to do. Yeah, like avoid everything till it stands still. But yeah, I guess if you, oh, it does change color when you shoot it though. It goes dark, so at least no, sometimes it doesn't. Huh. Oh man, yeah, that was oh, one. That we're was dead. Ah, uh, but they're moving so fast. Oh, oh no. Oh man. And see, like it's hard because with that one, like yes, yes, we need some help. Seriously, points. we oh need some God. health, man. So you have to earn more points. Okay, at least like visually, this is easier on my eyes. That last one was just so dark. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. No. Good. Uh, that level is 62 points, I think. We need arena here to track these things. Yeah, man. Where's arena? That's so okay. if you want to just play another game, starting from level one, maybe. Cool. And I'll read out the rest of the letter that he sent me. A little bit slower of a game. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little, little bit of a different pace. Check, check, check. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm a 25-year-old web developer. Hey, buddy. <laughs> from Pensacola, Florida. Uh, who has been collecting old systems and games for the past six years, starting with the Genesis. I've always been interested in programming for games and first started working with the Genesis, but I quickly realized I need to switch over to something more manageable for a one-person team. I really like how Atari 2600 forces you to focus on the gameplay mechanics as the core of your game and how you have to utilize simple graphic capabilities to generate much more interesting images. So I decided to work in that direction. After learning as much as I could about 6502 assembly, Random Terrain being a great resource, I started building Spiderweb. The game is fairly simple and acted as more of a learning experience for me. I already have a few concepts for more interesting and involved games that I'll be shifting gears towards after I finish the first production run of this one. So it looks like he's going to be uh, selling this one, maybe? He said production run. That sounds like a selling thing. Speaking of, I do plan to sell this game. Oh, next sentence. <laughs> okay. It has a full package with box, manual, and cartridge. I don't know the exact price. I'll have it as, but I'm expecting somewhere between 25 and 35. That's quite good for a boxed game, actually. 25. That's really good. Probably. What's the average? 35. I don't know this stuff. It's about 25 for a standalone cartridge on the low end, yeah. I find. And then a boxed one, usually 40 to 50. What's the most expensive oh. that you can spend on a cartridge? Whatever you want. I guess so, with Some collector. people, like, throw tons of extras in it, and, or they make it, like, a really thick manual, or, you know, some and I guess because it's so limited sometimes, the run as well, it's like... Yeah, and that'll increase your cost, too. Like, if you're going to a printing press and you only are making 10 versions of <laughs> yeah. the game... You're not getting the advantage of bulk discounts. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. But you run the risk of not selling them all if you maybe produce a hundred. Yeah, it's so, like the old people, the oldest like joke in the book, which is like someone has, owns a business and then they buy like thousands of things and then just their garage is just, just full, full of whatever of, product yeah. they're hustling. Mm -hmm. Which is, that's always the, the big fear. 
mail? It does sound like someone's walking around in your house. <laughs> Probably next door neighbors. Probably. He didn't ring the bell. Um, because it's sometimes hard to hear the bell, especially when there's noises. Yeah, and I'm talking and yeah, <laughs> games are happening. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're buying a hundred, you got to be pretty sure you're gonna sell a hundred yeah. or close to it, and then you know get the tail sales after a little bit. Um, so it's a so you have to increase the price for smaller runs of games, like 10, 10 copies, twenty, thirty. Um, but you can bring down the price on bigger runs, so they might sell more. It's like the lemonade stand yeah. game, where it's like, well, you know, it, it'll I can make I, I have to charge more for small amounts, and yeah, it's 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 a it's a, the screen going up and down when the spider is totally underneath. Yeah, the screen is is jumping, not jumping, but shifting when you run along the bottom edge of the screen. And I think shoot or just running along the bottom. When I shoot. When you shoot and you're so on the bottom. So you see yeah. like Yeah, it's jumping. I didn't notice anything else. That's a problem. I think some people pointed up at the split at the top. It's not uh, timed out right for the coloring. It's a little little dot, little problems. Me and Everything Lydia. else is fine. Yeah, man, me and Lydia over here are just <laughs> I mean, level eight in a meditative state. Of Pretty just... good. So we did earn the level six start. That's good. At least you did. Um, Sometimes I think about like what a life of a spider must be like. You know, just survival constant. And just building this web, and some asshole comes and just smashes it all down, and you're like, I guess I'll build it again. Yeah. And then you just hope that a bug falls into it and gets caught. And then you have to build it again. Yeah. After not too much though. Unless they totally wreck it, like a wasp gets into it and thrashes around and mostly yeah. destroys it. I remember I was just, it was, I don't remember what was going on. Like, I think my roommate, I was, I, my roommate and everything was going so terribly. Yeah. Because I was like, my, this, his mother was sleeping on my couch for like months. And yeah. I went and stayed over at a friend's place and I just was like hanging on their balcony because I didn't really feel like staying in their house. Mm -hmm. And so I was actually even sleeping on the balcony. It was in the middle of the summer. <laughs> it was really nice. Oh my God. Um, and then I looked and there was this. Outdoorsy. Yeah. And there was a spider web. Yeah. And I just watched this spider for a while, and he had found like a little um, ant. Oh. Uh, actually, you know, a fly. And okay. I just watched this spider slowly devour this fly. Yeah. It was one of the most horrific, was <laughs> like disgusting things I've ever seen. Yeah. And I was just sitting there, just being like, "What is going on?" And then I actually filmed it for a while on my phone, and oh. I have a great little video of it. And it's just really weird because we walk around in the world and don't look at things like that and think about like what it would be like to actually like live the life of this spider. And it's be strange, it's a like rough world. Me and Lydia over here, it's like, what are we doing? We're just catching flies, waiting to die. What's Charlotte <laughs> doing? Waiting to die and have kids. Like, it's very interesting stuff. I, yeah. I, spiders are fascinating, too, because it's like, apparently their webs are so unbelievably strong compared oh. to who they oh. are. I mean, it's, it's, Unbelievable. it's really weird stuff. System must be warmed up now. The color artifact on the PT number has disappeared. Oh yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah you're no, right. No line. Also, the game. Uh, maybe it's hard though because I, it's amazing how quickly you just get used to the artifacting and stuff. How when we first opened it up, I was yeah. like, "What is that?" And now I'm like, "Oh, this is fine. fine. It's, it's totally fine." But I bet it's, you if we switched over, we would notice the difference again. Oh. But it was oh, like yeah. it was like remember the first time that like you got HD and you jumped from SD to HD. That's a big jump. And then you're like, this looks plastic. And then you go back and you're like, how did I ever watch TV <laughs> on anything other than HD? Oh, Especially HD yeah. channels. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. No, this still is not great looking to me. No. It's fine. It's just mush. Mushy. Yeah, and all the, all the noise and, and stuff yeah. too. I mean, the, you, that looks Well, that's the good. interesting thing is that the color rendering has a huge impact because this does. looks very nice to me, but yeah. it's also color it's contrast because yeah. red and green are pretty much opposite on the color wheels. Yeah. Um, so this, this color combination works really, really well. Yeah. Which is I, why I think red and green tend to, I mean, Christmas. On PAL, the screen changes colors when you shoot along the bottom, not just when the level changes. Oh, that's a problem. It's interesting because... 
We you should wanna... definitely give feedback to him about the PAL issues. Um, I can't test that easily. I mean, I could on um, using Stella, setting it to PAL. So, I don't know if he's at a place where he's interested in this sort of thing, but after playing this game for a little bit, it would be awesome if there was like a couple other things going on, like maybe like an upgrade or like maybe yeah. you know something. Because at the moment, it does feel like very samey. Yeah, I'm. It's it things is, just get faster. It's one of those games that just things just get faster uh, as the levels go up. And um and the repeating points is interesting because it almost then it feels like you're pushing for levels. You're not oh, really yeah. pushing for points. You are. It'd be nice to have like maybe I don't know like an up upgrades or something like it'd just be nice to have a little little something to fight for. Yeah. Because at the moment it's just or web variations yeah. the look of the web well look maybe. at how much nicer now that they saturated these colors yeah it's a lot better but i might just be the rendition of the it could be the screen. um it might be random colors but it would be good to hit keep that in mind which color combinations work better yeah and that's probably more just because of the system we're playing with because i bet you if we looked at it in stella it's possible we'd have less complaints about the color oh there would be definitely less complaints whoa Okay, only level 11. Not bad. The scanline count needs to be stabilized, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next game. Um, let's see. It's, t -t 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 -t. Um, just making sure I got everything here. Hi everyone, you may be seeing me mention Atari. I've been working on a few months spider web after many nights adding new features, pouring over scanline clocks. I've decided most aspects of the game are 100% done. It's easy for me for to go ahead and make a batch of copies, send them out to the wild. It might be safe for me to hand the game out in digital form, get some quick opinions and feedback. So hopefully our playthrough has helped a little bit, especially with the jumping. He yeah, the to, jumping. Needs to nail that down. And if you could add another feature of some kind, that would be awesome. But I know that it might be tricky, what. but it would just be nice. Like, like even if you were to, like, I don't know, like, anything. Like, if you if you hit a bug, if there's a special bug that you can hit that gives you extra but takes maybe, like, you know, something that just feels... A bug that runs across the screen once in a while? Yeah, that you maybe needs, like two hits to get and it maybe gives you extra points just something to feel like you're like like not like you don't have to go nuts or maybe maybe there's something that you can collect that gives you a short period of time like rapid fire and then that does yeah. like just something so that it feels like there's like a a little bit of a a, a boost or something it doesn't have to be there yeah. but at the moment it does feel very meditative like i'm just in this state of like okay, we'll well just... he said i pretty much maxed out the 4k raw <laughs> there we go man so i'm sticking uh that i'm sticking with it there isn't too much room for growth mm. so we really can't add anything unfortunately um i wouldn't i would um uh vote in some ways to keep the points um stacked cumulative yeah, yeah so that that way i can you can get a sense of you can keep the same things where it's like instead of repeating it's just well, he only has so much room for points. Oh, That's there, the problem. There we go. Um, he could reduce the number of points that you get per kill down to one. And then he could stack it up and you could maybe get to 999. Um, so at least but I guess it's interest levels that you're counting. Yeah, right? you just push levels. Yeah, something requires a bit of strategy would be nice. Yeah, it's yeah. not a lot of... It's just a void. It's a void. Void and shoot. Yeah. Void shoot. And it does feel random at a certain point because they are so erratic that you just kind of yeah. shoot and hope that you get it. And yeah. It's a real spray and pray kind of game, actually. Yeah. Um, so, but the other comment would be kind of control the colors a bit more. Yeah. Like you could have a black background for a while and different colors spider webs and then change the background to maybe white. And then black spider webs are just better color control, so there's a lot of contrast. And um, uh, Captain Classic just said, interaction with the web would be nice. The bugs hit the web and uh, remove pieces, but go slower. Your spider moves oh. slower over non-web. Wow. You replace the web as it moves. That, that's amazing. He that was, won't have room for that. That would be man. worth upgrading to an 8K game. Because, yeah, you have to rebuild your web. The That's the whole fucking point. The spiders, <laughs> spiders. I mean, the flies do destroy the web as they move around. And when you swat the web, man. Yeah. So the, the flies could, like you said, move slower and slowly destroy your web. 
And then in the open areas, they can move faster. Yeah. And you have to rebuild your web. That's really good. And there's more it's... like placing bombs or something here. Yeah. Still offline here. What Just is... went dead. Oh, it did? Huh? Is that just our internet? Yeah, it's completely gone. Like, it's still streaming. Oh, reconnection successful. Okay. Oh. I don't think that was a internet thing. I think it was more of a Twitch thing. Because the speed is fine. It just dropped. Whoa. But anyway, we're back. Hopefully we're back. You're back. Hey, Excellent. sorry about that. Okay. So let's get on to the second game. Unfortunately, you won't be able to add those that awesome feature, but that that would it's be cool. a killer it's feature. A really cool idea. Yeah, rebuilding the web, or like you have a time limit to rebuild the web at every end of a level, or some some mid mid game, maybe mid level game that yeah. you have to rebuild the web. Be in, yeah, and almost interesting if like instead of shooting the web, you like place it and then move. So it's almost I, I like think you could just move over top of yeah. that area to rebuild it because that's what spiders do. They oh just yeah, that's string a good point. it out as they move. Um, that's an amazing option. I, I Swatter don't think causes can... damage. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> your web as well. Yeah. Great, great suggestion. But that's the hard part about anything, right? Yeah. Everyone has an idea. The challenge is the implementation. Yeah, and that's, that's a big change. To I feel like an asshole on this show because I'm like, oh, I got ideas. Like, fuck you. They're going to be hard to make, but you should do them. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> so. buddy. Have you ever fucking coded? Have you ever <laughs> sat behind a screen exactly. and actually done this stuff? No, I just play games and say what I think. <laughs> because, that's, because that's really hard because he would have to put that all in memory. Mm -hmm. the, the web rather than having it in ROM right now because it's a static web and that's a lot of dots yeah. to keep in memory not impossible but he might have room for it but who knows um, so the next game we're going to be playing is Asteroids Attack by Ricardo Pim who was hey, Ricardo. or is in here Good. online here he said he's back online so hold down the middle button got it and I'll plug back in the Atari box Atari so we hear our friend your friend. Uh, oh, yeah. Because the last game we're going to be playing, Zookeeper, does keep track of high scores. Ooh. So that is good. Um, Which one's on the list? Asteroid Asteroids Attack. attack. Okay, should so, I hit it or? Um, not yet. Um, so Asteroids Attack by Ricardo Pim slash Game Select, first posted November eighteenth, two thousand nineteen. This build is. 10 days ago, March 1st, 2020. It's a 32K game. Other games, Asteroids Attack and Battle Zuma, which we did play in the show before as well. Um, the availability is from the Game Select Facebook page if you want to download this and play it yourself. So he messaged me, Hi James, how have you been? I'm grateful to inform you that the Asteroid Attack demo is now available. It will be a pleasure if you can test it. The demo version has three short waves with intermediate difficulty plus the return to Earth. The final version is the final stages of adjustment and will be available for purchase soon. So your opinion will be very important. Mm. Whoa. The game was 100% created in Visual Basic Batari. I wish I had used the multi-sprite kernel to reduce the flicker effect, but it does not allow the screen scrolling feature, which was essential for me to simulate the stars running. So to have both features, uh, multi-sprite and scrolling had to otherwise evolve. Um... So he said, unfortunately, where I live uh, starts, I will be at work. Fortunately, he's able to be here, which is Damn awesome. Um, basically, basically, you can't let too many asteroids go by without destroying them. Each asteroid that passes through will hit the Earth. That's not good. Jesus. The bar on the left side of the score, uh, left side of the score is the Earth life bar. Uh, if it ends up uh, game over, the bar on the right side is the wave progress bar. When it ends up, will be the end of the wave and the master asteroid will enter you need to defeat him to move on to the next wave so there is a boss level let's get it on the screen uh wait one second okay cool Do it now Ooh. so there's a qr code if you want to find his web page i'm guessing yeah the gameselect.com.br that's kind of cool. Actually. I love that. Little, that's what you can do with 32K. <laughs> have screens like this. Start Whoa, offense this in Asteroids Attack. Already. Score zero. A game select 
production. Okay. Should I go for it? Yeah, I think it's a basic shooter. Whoa. There's the Earth. This looks like North and South America. There's some islands in the middle there. Wave one. Okay, so that's you. So the, the green bar on the left is Earth's. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Destroyed. Sorry, Earth. <laughs> the, uh. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not very good at these kind of games. down volumes without interrupting your game. Oh which god. Which is awesome. Already dead. Oh no. Um, the year is 2600. Uh, the newly discovered X-Planet in its first passage through the solar system disturbs the harmony of the asteroid belt, hurling thousands of asteroids towards the Earth. Decided to hold down the button. Oh, does that rapid fire? No, but it, it's a smarter because then I don't have to think about shooting. I can just move uh, my guy, which is at least. I mean, there we go, dead because uh -oh. enough asteroids came. And the Earth is obliterated. Completely obliterated. That was a big asteroid that compared to the size of the Earth. Huge asteroid. Oh no! You could move left or right. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if that's helpful. But... I'm a try. So that's you. There's your three yeah, ships. Yeah, we got taken three off from Earth. ships. Trust me, James can be way better at this <laughs> game than I am. I do like shooters. Yeah, this is. Uh, I would say my skill level for things like this is not high. Are you getting bet? Um, well, it's hard. That was a hard one because it's a. Diagonal. What do you do? And this is where like me holding on the button isn't necessarily the best plan. Well, if it's helpful, that's what you want. Humankind, in full control of space technology, created Star Fleet, Star Defense Fleet, designed for exploration and defense. Upon the learning of the destruction, the destructive power of the event, oh. fleet of nine ships, three in the demo game version, were sent on a mission to destroy all asteroids that threaten the planet. But during the mission, something terrible is discovered. Play one more game. Yeah, I think I can and play nine more games. And it'll <laughs> only take me five minutes. <laughs> Had to stop. What did I miss? We just kind of started the second game, um, and we're re reading out the instructions. Are all the ships different colors? That's they are. Do you have a pink ship? Um, the Starfleet disco uh, discovers that the attack is not a natural event, but something carefully planned by the no longer unknown Planet X population. Whoa! So they are on the attack. Um, who, for reasons still unknown, are planning the total destruction of Earth. Oh, I'm dead Well, I don't, already, I I don't blame them. Humans are pretty oh, bad. Man. See, I'm letting so many asteroids go by, but it's hard, because, like... It's better than you dying, because you might be able to at least fend off a lot of them. Oh. Oh. Gameplay. The fleet will have the mission to destroy as many asteroids as possible from each of the nine attack waves, three in the demo game version. At the end of the mission, return safely to Earth, so you have to fly back to Earth again, too. The end of each attack wave is indicated by the passage of a giant asteroid. Oh. So you haven't have to do three waves of this. Yeah, man. So you haven't made it to the first end of the first wave yet. Wow. Um, and holding down the button's not smart because when I was getting too close, like I didn't, the problem was that I'd shoot one and then run in front of the one I'm supposed to kill. Uh -oh. Um, And it was just, no, there's no chance. No bueno. Pretty soon, I, the, I'm gonna just run out of stuff, and it's hard because you're not particularly fast. Your ship's movement, right? So like, try and get there. You try to move, this, and now it's these guys are getting faster. So there is a bit of luck in this. <laughs> yeah, you have to figure out which I think, ones. To I go think I have first. only so many. You know, at least I'm doing better. I mean, you're almost there. You're almost there to the first boss. I have like no health too. With no it's life. Getting down, but it's not down completely yet. The second one come is on, a progress on. meter. You're almost there. There you go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh no! 
Oh no! It doesn't surprise me. You got it a bit. Me. It did shrink a bit. Yeah, at least that was cool. at least it's better than last few games. Do you want one more? Or yeah, I'll okay. try one more. I'll keep reading then. Let's see how I do. Let's see. The end of each attack wave is indicated by a passage of a giant asteroid, which we just saw, uh, with great destructive power, which must be eliminated. Failure to destroy the giant asteroid will result in the Earth destruction and game over. A tip, try to stay in the middle of the screen, then your fire will be short, and then you can fire faster. Yeah, but you're barely getting them in time. Yeah, so, so. I'll let two go by already. Like. Yeah, so I don't know if going to the middle... I, I oh. think hanging back is the best. Uh, that's what I always find. Very Because if you're up front, Let's try. you can try. No, they're already get, pushing you back. Yeah, and I'm also just not very good, so that <laughs> doesn't help either. Uh, I'm just not so great at these kinds of games. Right. Like at least I'm at least I'm getting better. Um, Andrew Davy's game uh, chess is uh, getting better. Oh, I'm excited to see what that's he's got. Like. He's got some AI going on. The only so, thing that's going to be a nightmare for me yeah. is if the chess pieces are not like obviously recognizable. Oh, they are. They are. Okay, because I because I remember they're, quite, they're really good. They look like the actual real ones. They're distinct enough okay, that you'll good. get used to what they are, and yeah. especially in the initial placement. You'll be like, "Oh, that's that." That's that yeah, because that's, that. that's the one thing that's hard is that you, when you do get used to looking at like a chessboard, your brain will very quickly do a calculation. But if you have to look and try to figure out what all the pieces are, yeah, that's really the only thing you have to worry about with the chess game is that because sometimes they have those those. I hate it more than anything. I was playing a chess game with someone and they had these like Chinese. Um, characters where they've redone every chess piece to be like, oh. this guy is like a samurai warrior. Oh, and I'm see. like, well, I don't fucking know what a samurai warrior is. <laughs> is that a bishop? Like, right. So then we have to like look at the, it just takes so much longer so to look play. Because then you have to kind of translate. It's like, it's like, it's like playing bass clef and you're used <laughs> right. to treble clef. That yeah. drives me crazy. Well, yeah. I, I couldn't play the tenor saxophone because of that. Yeah. Otherwise I could. Because it's just like, yeah, I can read that. Which is it's like, why? Why did you... Why? What is this? Why even have this? This new uh, note implementation. <laughs> just, just keep it on one track. Um, but why is I, that a B and then, then that's an E on a different cause, style? Because, yeah, and um, and that... But I bet you... I'm sure that, it's easier for writing notes. Yeah. Writing symphonies so it all matches up or something. Oh, yeah, and it's, it's important, but it is that thing where... So that's the only thing that I think will be interesting to see how that translates. Cause, and then the AI will be fun to see how his AI is. Yes, I think it's still in its infancy, so I don't know when you would feel that. Oh man, anytime. Should, maybe we should play it now and then play it again. Yeah, because I'm not a, I'm it. not an incredible chess player by any stretch, but I'm certainly like I certainly know the game and I'm like good. I'd be I'd be able to do, like play it like right. fairly effectively. Um, uh, I just let too many go by. Yeah. Noted. What do you think about that suggestion by Thomas? Vertical, uh, faster vertical movement? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> because it I just takes me forever, and I can't, I can't get by all these people. So, the earth ground. So let me give it a try. You've got 13,900. The earth ground mission is not prepared to handle large amounts of falling asteroids. <laughs> so be efficient. Let as few asteroids pass through. The bottom left bar indicates the Earth's life bar that we reduced each time the planet is hit. The end of the life bar will result in the Earth's destruction and game over. You will command each one ship sent to the mission. In case a destroyed ship, you will uh, start to command the next one. The destruction of all ships will result in the destruction of Earth. The bottom right indicates the wave progress um, uh, that will be reduced to each destroyed asteroid or enemy ship. The end of the progress bar will result in the end of the wave and start a new one. More instructions. Oh, okay, that's it. I bet you're doing better than I am, but it's... it's Letting a, a lot by. It's a trick, and it is because of the, the vertical st scrolling makes it difficult. Like, it's hard to pop into position, and it it's is. also... And we and they're actually it's very smooth though. It's like smooth. The movement is really. But you smooth. also have other things to avoid, like even those mines and stuff, right? Like Bullets, it's yeah. like you have you have a fair amount to. So it's also hard because sometimes you can scroll up, but like run into a bomb. So there are it's a lot of decisions, and I don't think you can really rapid fire. Damn it! 
because rapid fire I found didn't really help me because you end up missing and then getting hit. I found I got ended up missing and then getting hit by them. Oh yeah, I can see often. what you mean. Um, especially when things get more intense because it's like you throw yourself in front of it and then you end up missing it. Music. Yep, good music. This game is hard as hell. <laughs> but it's a good hard? Oh my god. I think it needs to start a little easier. <laughs> yeah, I could scale up a like, bit. Wave one, I think the things need to move slower. Yeah, and if you move faster, just because it's like, it's pretty tough. If you can move faster and they can move slower, at least wave one. And then one. you can speed it up. This feels more like a level three almost, you know? Yeah. Like this, um, or like a level two, you know? Maybe, like, maybe level three, yeah. Because cause it's, it's, it's like, so There's right, if you think happening. here, right here we have, oh, good, they're all clumped. we have like three, four plus bullets, <laughs> plus, you know? Yeah, or less things on the screen to start off with as well. Like, that's a way to kind of yeah, scale just... up. Because there's a lot of stuff happening. It's such an interesting psychology with wave-style games. Because you actually, I think, do your wise as a programmer to make your first level almost, like, really easy to think of it more as a tutorial because yeah. it takes a second. But then to sort of slowly scale it up. It still has to be fun. I'm not too keen on tutorial levels unless they're still fun. Yeah. Because you always have to go through them every time you play. Or they can be short and easy. Yeah, because right? I think it's nice to also even just give the player a second to feel like, oh, I'm doing well. And then when it slowly ramps up, then you start to feel it and go, oh, well, there's my wall, you know? But I do think that um, this would be a different story if you could move up and down faster. Yeah. Because um, that, that really is the Achilles heel of this, this game, I feel. If you move to the right, it actually speeds everything up like it moves them towards you yeah i don't need to do that <laughs> right now and so now and that's rip right like i didn't that's, get hit that's I didn't the, die once well that's the problem I is can't. like i got farther than you because i was i was militant but then i kamikaze yes. a lot i'm trying to protect myself but then you let all the things through yeah so and cardo which, this game is hard as hell <laughs> this is so way hard. one yeah, this probably should be wave three. Yeah, not even wave two. Yeah. Like, I'm not the best at shooters, but I do like them a lot. And so that means I'm not terrible at them. But I mean, Jesus, there's just so many. And, and maybe if you move faster, I could get more of them, but... Because I'm shooting some up there, but I can't get to the bottom in time. To, to yeah, and if you did, you'd end up just dying. Yeah, and I then and the then you, you're kind of screwed one way or screwed the other. It's like you either lose all your health and you manage to like I'm save kinda, all of them. Right now, I'm kind of going for clumps. If there's like three down there, I'm gonna go for the clump of three because I can protect. He says I played it so many times I can play with my eyes closed. That's a real challenge, eh, of yeah. being a programmer, man, because you are. You've you be, up you become an expert. Um... Damn it! Damn it! Do I have to start all over? No, Dablio I... Games. No, I don't have to start. Dablio all over. Games, man. I've never seen you before. Oh, that's I've awesome. Ah, oh, cool. Diab Di 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 Diablo? Diablo games? Uh, or no, is it something else? It's it's Dablio. <laughs> Diablo <laughs> games would be bad. That's my favorite game. Is Diablo. But Dablio. Huh. Maybe I haven't seen it. Maybe I'm just thinking Diablo. Almost to the boss. I just want to see the boss. Diablo too. So. Um. So with the mod, I actually was fairly surprised at my soldering skills. Even though it was a very simple soldering job. I'm almost there. Yeah. Almost dead. And and you're and you have no room for like. Did it. Dude, okay, that's oh. good. Now we'll find out what stream, what wave two is getting. Do I get my health back? Or is the earth still injured? No, the earth is... Earth got time to, to rebuild. We can rebuild. So 
Are they coming a bit faster? Different music. Cool. That's nice. Oh! Oh, bad guys. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. That guy is See, man, this straight is where... out of Mega Mania, though. Oh, no. <laughs> that guy is from Mega Mania. Oh, the ship? Even the ship's got little, uh... Well, both of them from Mega Mania. Oh, Whoa. they've crossed over. Oh, and I guess you, ha you, you can now let in ships again. Uh, yeah. There's a new, which is, uh, from, which a, is good. from a lore perspective, is Crazy. interesting. <laughs> but, like, from a game perspective, I approve, because it's really hard. Oh, yeah, really hard. you would just die if, the, if it was just a cumulative. Oh, earth. different music. Yeah, yeah, different That's music. Great. It's really great that to, have, to have that kind of change up um, in a game. And it's kind of, I, like I like the addition of those um, shooting ships. Very, very cool. Especially since they're from Mega Mania 2, which is one of my favorite 2600 games. I still need to get the patch for. It's hard, 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 hard. I think I need to get the patch for. I don't think those affect anything. Oh, you know what? Those tiny little boulders, do they hurt the earth? I don't think so. Or it's just the big ones? It's just the big guys, I think. I, think I know tiny, the UFOs probably don't. I think don't. those tiny ones mess you up. Right, so I should not even go after those tiny ones if I don't have to. Ricardo, can you confirm? Yeah, like what what what, what does up? damage to the earth? It, it seems to have more of a threshold for it. Like you're laying a lot more through, and it seems to be doing less. Yes. Damage. Maybe it's like a higher level. It's a little bit more late. Cause yeah, I feel like you've let way more through than the last time. Yeah. And like I don't see much damage to the earth. Yeah, this is, seems like more of a fair. Fight. Weirdly, I feel like this is a bit almost not. I, I, I admit, uh, you'd you'd have to confirm if it's easier because you're you're probably just maybe in a more of a flow state now. Like you kind of a bit better. It's, yes, it's it's hard to know. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but definitely with the um, letting things go through. Like okay, so that one did a did a major hit. But I'm almost almost to the boss. And, yeah, and I'm in a good spot yeah. with with Earth destruction. But I've been now kind of just going after the big asteroids as much as I can. Yeah, you're just doing your best. It's all we can ever do. It's true. Oh, we said I'm at work. Boss is here. I missed some questions. Oh. We were just asking about what on the screen causes Earth damage. Like, you see the little uh, mines up there. You see, like, the UFOs. Is it just the meteors, or is it everything will damage the Earth? Ah! Uh, <laughs> I couldn't do it fast enough. Whoa. Damn it. I almost made it to wave three. But I accidentally pressed forward. Yeah, try which another one, up. Oh, or do you want to move to God. another game? Uh, I'll do one more. Yeah, one one last one. See if. Um, yes. What uh, what actually hurts the Earth? Is it just the round ones, or is it the just double? asteroids damage the Earth? Just asteroids. It's good to know. That makes oh, a lot of sense. That's why we're maybe not doing so well. Yeah. See, it's, it's always a technique thing sometimes. You have to shoot everything. Yeah. So I don't need to go after that that little double thing. I mean, I'll shoot it if it's in my way, but I'm gonna go out of. I've gotten every single thing now. Yeah, I think you also oh. just get more practiced at it, too. Yes. It's a big deal. Mm. That's right, man. RC7E, real console, man. Real console. Real deal. Authentic. Playing with the... So don't worry about UFOs. I don't know if you're going to be able to convince me of that, but <laughs> I... There's still a worry, yes, <laughs> But they're shooting you and moving all over the place. They actually just kind of fly off the screen. They don't make it to the edge of the screen. What's your What's your opinion on Aliens, James? The movie? There's no, in reality, like, <laughs> Whether UFO they exist? existence, do you believe in these crazy abductions? Like, what's your take oh, on, on UFOs? No, I don't believe in the abductions. Um, they seem to coincide with... Movies about aliens. I've also observed and, that most people who um, have UFO abductions seem to also take crystal meth. So it's interesting. Unreliable narrator. Or like 
man, I was so drunk, and I just... <laughs> yeah, I was really drunk that night. I, I was blackout drunk, and then you're like, okay. Yeah, I said most, it takes a mescaline for the first time. <laughs> most of the people who have the sightings are very similar in uh, how they are. That's yeah. It. Um, it's hard to believe. Uh, there's a certain portion of the people that probably believe they had alien encounters. There's going to be a portion of people that want attention. Um, and there's a portion of people who just like the line doesn't work quite work right. Yeah. Some that dreamt it, but they think that dream was actual reality. The percentage of people who actually uh, encountered aliens, I would put as zero, because just because it's just so far away. Um, other places, other Earths, uh, yeah. other Earth-like planets that would sustain life would just be so, so far away. Those aliens would have to be so incredibly advanced. Um, I just don't think they would be doing what they're doing. Yeah, and, and like my, my take on biology is that like we are organisms that adapt to survive in an environment, so whatever that species would be would be highly dependent on the environment they came from, which is probably not our environment. So God knows yeah. what kind of composition they would, they would be in. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Get on. It, might, it might be similar to our environment, but that's the interesting oh, thing. It doesn't is, have to be. But that's the wild part is it's like, you know... I think there was some different types of uh, creatures discovered that wor work with different... that aren't, aren't carbon-based recently. They're like silicon-based or something. Whoa! It only makes sense, eh? Because, I mean... Life will find a way. That's the yeah. that's the thing. Is it's like oh no, it wasn't it wasn't based on DNA. It was based on some other construction of the DNA elements. It, it was a different um, construction of DNA that wasn't like ours at all. They found or they or they artificially created. I can't remember the details. I wish I could. I think this level's actually easier because there are less it's asteroids. Less asteroids because there's more things on the screen that aren't asteroids. Yeah. Um, I think that's my observation. I think of this. I might agree. I mean, I had have to experience it, but the, the, I I buy that. It's because I made it to the end of this one. Oh, I keep pressing forward. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I about this uh, pressing forward making you go faster. Because I keep accidentally pressing forward, which makes my life a living hell. It's hard enough already. Yeah. Um, did you ever see the movie Arrival? Uh, no, that I have not. I, or did I? See, big recommendation. This one of one of uh, 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 Amy Adams is in it. Oh, I did um, see that one. I did like that one. Yeah, it's quite really, a bit. Really good one. I love the the thing I like about that movie is that the whole idea is that if an alien comes, we're not gonna be able to speak the same language. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which is I think that was a very great so, representation of what aliens could be. And like, that our just so foreign to us. And our challenge will be how do we Whoa, communicate with them? How right. do we how do we like bridge this gap? I was like, that's really and they work the whole movie is essentially that, which I yeah, think is amazing. Communication. It's not everyone's you know. Because I think a lot of sci-fi movies just turn into action movies. So it's cool to see a science fiction movie that's not just a bullet to hell third act. Damn it! No! <laughs> it's two <laughs> seconds away from it. I wanted to make it to level three. We better never meet. Advanced aliens. See, God damn well, right. Well, I, I think they would just not care about us because they are so advanced. Yeah. They'd just be like, oh, they're just like ants. Or... Say like cats or something. So if they can understand what we're doing and what we're up to. Mm -hmm. but they just don't. They don't care. <laughs> yeah, if like, aliens are like humans. They would enslave or kill us. Yeah, I don't think they would do that because they would be such advanced to to travel that distance that they would have no need to. They would find other ways of sustenance. Yeah, rather or, than enslaving. Depends people. on their objective. <laughs> it's true. Depends entirely on why they're what 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 they're doing. You know. Okay, so let's get to the third game, which is actually a mystery game. Let's let's just talk about that one for a second. Yeah. Asteroids attack. For suggestions, I did very well. Yeah. Um, now that we had some hints about the asteroids, the first level, I think, is still too hard. 
Even though now I, I can complete it every time. I'd say speed up the ship. That would help. Vertically, yes. Or just have like maybe a few less asteroids in the first level. And keep the thing the same. Yeah. I don't know about changing his more core mechanic because moving to the right actually moves everything faster. Yeah. I don't like it because I don't want them to move faster. I just want to move around them. Yeah. But right now, it speeds them all up, which is not what I want at all. <laughs> but so let's keep that core mechanic as, as they are yeah. already. Um, sl less, either less asteroids coming at you in the first level or slower asteroids yeah. either one is fine so he's already got numbers so maybe slowing them down would be easier the second level i think is actually fine just because there's less asteroids yeah it's, it's more actually tactical easier. actually it's a bit more yeah. fun because it seems that like you have to dodge these things and there's other yeah. elements at play yeah second level is fine i mean totally fine. you could even honestly just take some shit from the second level and put it in the first level like you know there's nothing wrong with that like if you wanted yeah. to have a, the odd alien ship yeah so at least then it's like well i'm not just getting barraged by asteroids endlessly i, I kind of like keeping the aliens to the second wave it's like oh you have to earn seeing these cool aliens was this 28 out of 5,000 thank you for seeing the game 28 out of 5,000 you're welcome man <laughs> uh some special target would be nice like power-ups oh yeah that's always fun man if that was possible but you don't there's no ship hurting you're either dead or you're not. Well, you can upgrade like the um oh, the uh, shots, the shots, so that invincibility is like, always wider. A, a fun one. Slowdowns, yeah. repairs, faster movements, mm -hmm. double, double shots. shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double ship. <laughs> double ship. Yeah. Not... That's if you can have one ship, you can have two vertically. It's yeah. No difference really. A little Galagon action. <laughs> yeah. Um, that would certainly just add some flair to it. I think it's less essential what is absolutely essential is to make that first level a little, bit, <laughs> a little easier little, just that just that the, alone so you can ease enough. into our but incredible our games i like your title card a lot this yeah the title screen's attack. great when it reminds me of mars attacks you know like just that font you yes know. and and this the animation is amazing oh, little jump there. and i'm guessing it would be like six ships instead when it goes to the full game um all the the graphics are great. This guy's good. This Music's green great. And everything. Um, it's not done. <laughs> oh, it shoots right on you. Doesn't let you uh, stand still. That's funny. It's like, nope, you gotta keep moving. It's a lot. Getting That's through. good. That's smart. Didn't notice that while playing yeah. because I'm moving all the time. But yeah, it doesn't let you stand well, still. Nine ships. Nine ships. Oh different style for sure well that makes it a lot easier yeah to that finish changes. the game it totally changes everything yeah but it's still the, level one is balance. i think a little too hard and if you make it easy you can make it shorter too well we're letting like so many ships through <laughs> is this just because yeah, there's maybe a grace happening? period on the first one yeah i think there's that? probably i bet you there's a grace period you see what i mean like there's like a kind of like shoot Ooh, one and see what happens i think we found happens. a bug I bet the first one we shoot starts it. I bet you it does. Do it okay. and let's find out. Now let's see. Oops. Oh, damn it. Yeah, when you play the, a game in unexpected ways, you'll find weird bugs. Yeah. It's like, why wouldn't people start shooting at the issue one? Yeah, we'll just see what happens. That's yeah, there we go. See, they're starting to... I, I think that's a nice little feature. It just gives a little bit of yeah. A, there it goes. It just gives that you a, smart. It's, it gives you a little bit of a like breathing moment. Yeah. So that's, and, I don't think it's a bug. And I and it's nice to know that if you were playing, because then maybe when you start up on a new ship, you can just go, okay, let's get my bearings straight. Yep. Like you can, don't need to shoot anything yet. You, you can honestly even use that as a tactic. Like you could wait until it's like a decent screen and then start yes. shooting. Because you see like um. Like, this is a rough screen here, because it's just so different, right? But then now it's like, maybe this would be a decent screen to start, because those yeah. were clustered together. I do like the animation when you speed up of the stars going by. Oh, he says, a test the pause game. Black and white in color. Oh, okay. Hold on. Game pause! Hey, works awesome. Oh, that's cool. 
it's always nice because people don't use black and white. They don't change. Oh, it to I can't black go back though. That's interesting. What? See? Yeah, you can. It's just slow. No, I can't move back. Like. Really? Yeah, it just glides back naturally. Oh. I could be wrong, but I, that's. Let's try that again. It just seemed interesting. There's a little jump on the earth when you first. Maybe it's just first probably just really slow. Probably can't go back. It's just a little jump there too. Cause see you. Oh no! It does go see back you... faster when you press back. So watch. This is without pressing it. Now I press it. Oh, it's a bit faster. Yeah. So it just seems slow. I guess it's just a slow business. <laughs> Because you don't have thrusters going back. See, when you press forward, there's thrusters. Oh, that makes sense. Um, oh. Yeah, I've, I've I've heard from several people that it's possible that I mean, if for okay. people who know about the amount of asteroids that are coming towards Earth, apparently you can really reach a state of almost paranoia because there are <laughs> so many asteroids Lots. that are poten could potentially destroy the earth that just go by it on like a on like a monthly basis that actually people who become obsessed with like trying to predict these things it's like that's a dark existence we have no way to defend ourselves right now so just don't, don't even don't bother yeah and if we'll one hits we won't know most likely and so there's no point in obsessing over something you yeah. can't change that's that's my philosophy don't obsess or worry about things you have no control over yeah and that goes for riding in airplanes and and everything everything in life if you have no control over it just let go of it so this is the mystery game Ooh! oh god this is what i came here for. so let's just read a little bit about it before i get on with it because i copy and pasted all the information over so Mike, uh, somebody named Mike contacted me on September 23rd of last wow. year, quite a while back. Mm -hmm. uh, great to meet you. My name is Mike. I'm a big fan of the YouTube channel and often check in to check out some new games. Uh, I've programmed and fully published a mini game myself. Whoa, Mike. And, and was wondering if you accept submissions to be played and featured on your channel. Hell yes. We, we try and play every Atari homebrew game. That's, yeah. that's like playable. Sometimes there's like demos that People are just starting out games, and it's not really even a game. But anything that's like a functional, playable game that has goals and score and whatever. We got you. <laughs> yeah, we got you. We want to show it to people. Uh, hope to hear back soon. All the best, Mike. So I messaged him back, and we talked back and forth. So only 10 copies of this game were ever made, and most were sold at a local game store near Mike. Uh, Mike said, if you'd like, if you'd allow me to send you a physical copy which we have right here and i've not opened it i've had this sitting around for a while because it's an actual cartridge i had to have an actual system to play it on right oh yeah that's why it's been so delayed i've had this for months uh he said i'd like you if you allowed me to send you a physical copy uh one you appreciate atari 2600 games in a way that i only hope my own child would going forward Trust me, it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you're into, come on, get will, into sports. Kids will do the opposite. Yeah. This is natural. You hope. It's like, oh, it's so lame. My dad plays these stupid old games. They're so blocky. <laughs> yeah. They were. And I hate them. And he pushes me, and he makes them, me play them an hour every day with him. And I hate it. That's true. <laughs> That's <laughs> what happens. Um, and, and, yeah, they want their own identity, and yeah. they the re reacting and, and rebelling is yeah. part of this development of kids. Yeah, uh, and two, I expect you will preserve the game amongst your collection. Yes, I am a terrible hoarder of video games, so oh, you, you mean, picked the right person. You're a collector. I'm a collector. Yes, that's, that's, that's my, how I justify. That's it. my joke. I have said that a million times on the show that you know the difference between a hoarder and a collector is a collector's organized. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's true. <laughs> But the hoarders will also say they're collectors too. It's true. Um, but have, but at least it's it, from the outside perspective you can tell that. Yeah. But from the inside perspective, they can't tell the difference. And that's a really foundational biological impulse hoarding. It's very you see it in a lot of animals. You see it yes. universally across continents, no matter where culture hoarding is yeah. is hard coded. It's and like it's usually evolves from hardships, previous hardships, yeah. or lack of that thing. Because I didn't have video games growing up as a kid 
So you you want I've the... I've never had a console, and so now I have all the consoles I want. And people who go through financial hardships of not having, and say they're growing yeah. up with that, with parents that don't have something, then when they grow up and they have money, maybe it, it evolves into something that... There's always usually some reasoning behind it. And there's always um, a fear that you will lose the yes. ability to yes. continue to get it. That's the underlying fear. And it's so, like, one day all this will stop and all this will come into play. And, and I'll what be if I it. need it? Yeah. What if What if I lose the what source? What if I need these games? <laughs> yeah, what if down the road it's not possible to get them anymore and then I need to... And yeah, that's where that's an irrational thing. I just love them yeah. and they're fun and you can physically play them. And, and my, Mine's justifiable. And, and my feeling so on all that stuff is like, you'll be fine. You'll be okay. <laughs> you'll find another thing. You'll be all right. You know, yeah. you got to evolve. He says, if both facts are true, I could not think of anyone else. I'd want to have a copy of my game. <sighs> that's just, that's beautiful. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. Mike. You're awesome. My game is not groundbreaking. It's not incredible under eyes like your own, but I made it for children. And the reasoning is based in my teaching my own daughter how important it is to code one day. I want to see that her dad actually built something. Whoa. Oh, well, yeah. That makes me want to cry. That's a yeah. beautiful reason to do it. It is. There's um um there's like a Japanese movie which called Ikiru, which is about a guy who gets cancer and he's about to die basically and he's looking over his life and he's bureaucrat and realizes It's an he's, amazing film, yeah, a Kira Kurosawa film. He realizes he's done nothing in his life that films. means anything and he basically realizes he just stamps papers yeah, all day, like that's all he does. And he goes the only thing that's meaningful in life is to create something. It doesn't matter what that is. Yeah. And I think there's something really truthful about that, that like, just, it doesn't matter. Like you created something yeah. and that's, there's a lot of, that's something where lasting, something that impacted some other person. It's meaningful. Yeah. So um, you're making me want to cry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the game is simple. Uh, he says the game is simple and has low replay value. 80% of owners have taken over 20 minutes uh, to beat this simple mini game. Um, Okay, so let's, uh, let's delay open, no further. Let's open it up. See, my address is on there, but that's my actual non-house address. That's Ooh. my mailing address if you want to send me games, oh. <laughs> not other things. <laughs> Please. But that's on the oh, Facebook. Oh, hey, buddy, you're here. Oh, in welcome. The office, but tuned in to chime in where I can, if needed. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's awesome to have you here, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're just about to open... Uh, Open your package here. Yeah, it's like oh, you can't see it anyway. It's, it's overblown it's like out. Christmas today. This, uh, I it don't know about this setting. It gets brighter and darker, and I have no idea why. This, the lights don't change. Something is going crazy. I wonder if it's the aperture on your, um, on your lens. It kind of uh, it, shifts. It's, it could, but it's set like it's not a. a an it aperture the... doesn't change through zooming. It's like a good lens. That's but I I suspect it's in camera. It might be something. Or uh, in lens or something it's, like that. I would I would guess that the lens would be just because it's the one that we know is damaged versus. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> but I don't know. Because every show it's like oh it, it's too bright I have to set it darker. It's too dark I have to set it brighter. Drives me up the wall. And I don't change the settings whatsoever. Oh my goodness, this is packed really well. That's better. Yeah, probably that. So what did you change? There? I just changed the aperture. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Oh my goodness. Behind the scenes. That's right. No, man, thanks for making the game. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Anybody that makes a game is just... It's incredible, even if it's a small game or a huge game, it's it's quite well, an it's effort. It's very smart for, I mean, it's a noble thing to you can see this. want your daughter to code, because, I mean, that is, I think that's something that's tragic, is the more we use applications, yeah. we, we understand less and less how a computer actually works, and I don't know what job you don't need to use a computer on. Oh, everything like, now. And, and in 20 years from now... I, Everything is going to have some form of automation, some form of something. So here's the game. Oh, he's also sent me a Nintendo Power napkin. Classic That's shit, awesome. right there, man. I'll put it in my kind of shrine on the mid stair shrine. This is kind of cool. 
because that is that's not a, new. That's a that, magazine, right? Yeah, it was a Nintendo self-published magazine with hints, and yeah. it's a big ad. It was a big ad. Yeah, but yeah. it had, but there were some games that that you needed essentially Nintendo Power, right, to be able to beat because they were yeah, so. Yeah, that was kind of sketchy. Yeah, it's like oh, you have to bend down at this spot and hit a wall. It's like you can't you can't win the game without doing this, and you would not know. There's like a th- hundred screens, and you have to bend down and hit a wall at that one point. Simon's Quest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and Zelda, too. Um, Funko Land. This is an arcade. Whoa. In the U.S., which is still operating, as far as I know. I don't know what this is. Looks like you could maybe slick like a, a, little, a little NES cartridge in there. Looks like it. That's my um, guess. So I'm going to leave it flat, because that's how it is. And <gasps> an envelope full of money. No. Um... So this is from Mike for James. James. So unfortunately, I have to open it. You can't open it. That's okay. I don't <laughs> mind. And this is, he said he passed some instructions or a letter as well. And he has cartridge protector. Oh, so we were right. Oh my goodness. This is quite extensive. Um, when it has a page numbers written on it, you know you got a real fucking... You know you're in trouble there. Okay, so let's open up the game now and we'll read the, the letter as we go on. Oh, that's a good idea. And I'll put this back in the box. Thank you so much for those nice extras. Oh, it is an NES cartridge protector. It did and look some like vintage it. classic stuff too, man. Yeah. Okay. Put that to the side. At least this is easily openable. Box is a bit of a struggle. And this is, has a full box and everything. Wow. Like, this is like full double protection. Real, real game. And thank you so much for sending this physical copy. It's always a joy. Oh, oh, just came out. Okay. So the game is called Spear Diver, Ooh. apparently. Uh, video computer system game program uh, programmed by M. Curry so it's Mike Curry um, it's got old school kind of Atari 2600 original run kind of box yeah spear diver on the side on the back some information it says made in the USA a new release for the Atari 2600 I always find that funny yeah whenever they put something on it new it's like well yeah it's new because it's new but then 10 years down the road, you still have that sticker on it. And it's not new anymore. A limited edition, copyright 2018. Oh, okay. So this was put out a little while ago. And the number five, because I think this is the number five copy, isn't it? Yes, out of 10. Um, dive through the o- dive through open ocean to spear your catch and hunt for the lo- lost treasure. Be careful, though. Danger lurks in the depths. On your adventure, you will encounter fish that you can catch to increase your score. Your score is tied to your air meter. The more fish you catch, the more your air will increase. So I guess you're getting the air from the fish. Cool. (laughs) Your air is constantly depleting, so pay attention. Don't let your air drop too low or you'll surely drown. As you get closer to the lost treasure, the hunter becomes the hunted. A giant squid and angry shark swim along your path and will chase you through the open waters. Look out for those squids, man. Those guys will fuck you up. Oh, yeah. Like just attach <laughs> themselves. Your spear is no match for these beasts. Your only option is to outswim them. Can you escape the tentacles of the giant squid? Can you evade the jaws of the shark that stalks you? You'll have to be brave. Outswim the ferocious sea creatures, and you just might find the lost treasure you've been hunting. That is, if you don't drown before you reach it. Oh boy. Take turns playing against friends. Try and beat your high scores. This fast-paced open maze chase mini game will keep you coming back for more. From Lambda Technology, one player. Oh, take turns playing against your friends. So it's ah. not a two-player alternating. It's just one at a time. Uh, use your joystick controllers with this game program. Oh, it's got a QR code, which I'm sure takes you to his web page. So let's just show the back of it. There we go. There's the front of it. Uh, we got some slide. real high scores on the back. We'll see how <laughs> we do. Yes. Okay, so now I have to open this up. Oh, can I open it up from the bottom or is it sealed? Oh, it's sealed. Yeah, I you... have to break the sticker. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. See, this is where you, the collector in you versus this is bad. versus me. I just be like, because <laughs> that sticker is part of it. Like the, there is only one number five sticker. I wonder if you can maybe like take it off fully and then like That's maybe paste do. it. Like I can. Luckily, it's coming off nicely. Cause yeah, it's not too sticky anymore though. Okay, so I'm going to put it right in the middle Good call. on the back between the two pictures. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. There we go. There we go. Number five. It's on the back. Let's open this up. Oh, good. It opened up nice and easy. Some of them are like tucked right in. and Yeah. It, and that's why I got little slots and then you have to wreck it. Were you one of those people when you read books you would never fold them? You just oh god no, I would never fold them. <laughs> of course, all my stuff is like pristine mint condition. Man, I buy used books so I don't have to it's worry. Because I was about a it. comic book collector. That makes sense. That's where it all came from. Yeah, it's never. Oh, the sticker's kind of peeling off. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about that. So here's the cartridge, uh, Spear Diver, very nice label. Uh, 2018. There you go. That's pretty good. Nice long focus. Uh, and then there's a rolled up thing and the manual, we'll get to the manual. That's why this camera is really serving us. Yeah. Because of the high eyes, so you can work at high apertures, which give more in focus. Yes, that's actually great. I should put everything in focus. Yeah. Oh, it's signed. So what is this, a mini poster. There's one side, signed by Mike. Ooh. Color changing ink would be the solution, not new. Turn them into then new. Oh, yeah, so, slowly fades away. Totally badass. Um, so the back says, Message from the programmer Like all good games, the artwork, the box, and manual make the experience that much more complete. By purchasing Spear Diver, you have support. I didn't buy it, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you have supported local programmers and businesses. We're supporting in our own way, I guess. I guess. I'd like to personally thank you for your purchase of this boxed set game. Hope you enjoy it. The Atari 2600 uh, system was a passion of mine as a kid. It was one of the first video game systems I ever played. It was inspiring. Like most kids, I always wanted to create my own game one day. It's wonderful to see new games still being released for this groundbreaking system. Thanks again for supporting us, Mike. P.S. No good game would be totally complete without a secret. Oh. Scan the QR code below to uncover the special challenge from the creator of Spear Diver. Damn. So we're gonna have to scan that and I'll do that. This is some Ready Player One. It is. Right here, man, this is good. Game credits, Spear Diver was designed, coded, and self-published by Mike Curry. Mike is the owner of, and president of Lambda Technology Incorporated, located on Long Island, New York. All artwork, audio, visual, and source code of the production is property of Lambda Technology. It's a one person production. I'd love to visit Long Island someday. I'd love to go to New York. I've heard I think I've been to Long I've Island. I've heard it's really interesting stuff. New York City? Well, or, yeah, all of it. Like, you haven't been to New York City? No. New oh York. my god, it's a different world. It's unlike any city in the world. Yeah. It's just huge. It's just massive. And then Long Island's like a different thing yeah. too. It'd be neat to go there someday. Special thanks to Samantha for beta testing this game for me. She let me know how just how frustratingly fun this game can be for an 11 year old. So, Ooh. big shout out to Samantha. Samantha! So, she's the real hero. That's right. She was she in the really. trenches, well, the helping them out. Well, she's the muse, you know, that's and right. the muse is important. Okay, so let's pop it in, and you can start going cool. at it, and I'll go through all the instructions and messages that Mike sent me along Exciting. the way. Exciting. Oh, real cartridge going in. Whew. So let's change this out. Unfortunately, I don't have graphics, so it's going to be a big question mark for that. So, don't mind that. Atari uh, Box. There's no Atari Box support as far as I know, but that's okay. Wait for it to come up. So that's not good. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Atari Box. Going through like five things. Yeah, it's a difficult. Uh... Oh no! What's happening? This is the challenge of um, hardware. Uh, oh, yes. yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Amen, Dan ABC. <laughs> it Amen. Is not good. Really weird looking too. You know what this is? That's is it's kind of looking. an abstract expressionist Jackson Pollock, you know, kind of surrealist painting, 
you know, an exquisite corpse that's a video art of the 90s. I'm sitting down so I know it's going to work. Whoa, what is happening? Why isn't it working? The real Atari experience right here, man. Yeah. The screen it's coming up with doesn't even look like Atari. Like, it looks way too detailed. Uh, it has shapes that were way too detailed. No! Flipping. Flipping out. It's not a PAL game, is it? Even a PAL game wouldn't look like this. I saw something there. Uh, it was blocky. Come on, come on, come on. Or nothing? I did see something there that looked like a lot of blocks. Uh, Mike. <laughs> Sucks. So it's not your. I'm, I'm. My mic is not me being like. It's your fault. My mic is like screaming to the heavens. You know. Yeah. It's being like, why? It's like the first act of a cop drama where our <laughs> friggin' partner just got killed, and we scream, <laughs> why? Oh, Did oh, Cynthia rain have rain. to be killed? I will take vengeance. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This becomes even more rare. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Now there's nine copies that work. Oh. <sighs> Something, I guess. It's aquatic. Oh, no. You would. Yeah. See, oh. I could see something for a second there, right? Eh? Yeah, we almost had it. Uh, oh, yeah. uh. Game over. I thought I saw that for a second. Really? Yeah, but nothing. Maybe remove the Atari box. Oh, that's a very, very good idea. Well, it's very different without the Atari box. Well, that might be something. Yeah. We lost our our Pollock style painting though. Yeah. Uh, trying, trying here. Dude. And if you blow like the 80s. Doesn't no no. That does not help. Mostly the blowing was just a placebo effect and it worked because you took the cartridge out and put it back in. Actually, corrodes the contacts. It's not a good thing. He said he, we tested on the 2600 Light Sixer just days before packaging. Really? Saw the title screen for a moment. Maybe try on your non modded console, as <laughs> uh, Thrusts says. Yeah, that involves a lot of stuff to hook up. I have to get a VCR out. And go through all that stuff. And turn up these lights. <laughs> <laughs> That's called ZPH After Dark. Yes, because the lights... Believe it or not, I swear, even more. I know that's unimaginable to think. <laughs> that's right. This... I'm even more honest. <laughs> okay, just so I'm not thinking I'm crazy, I'm going to put in some other cartridges. There we go, Keystone Capers works. It's a physical problem, bad connection. Yeah. He says ROM's available here. Pitfall works. Oh. So he, he, he hit you up with a ROM. Oh, excellent. Okay. Because we do want to play it. Yeah, otherwise we just shelve it for another time, which would be tragic. It um, would be. GitHub Lambda Technology. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, man. This no signal game is <laughs> is not questionable. A, not a fun game. There we go. 
Oh, Spear Diver. Download. Yeah, man, we're going to fine-tune this no-signal game. <laughs> we're going to really deep dive into the no-signal game. Yeah. My first note is, I think we need a signal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great suggestion. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we, I, I hear you, Captain Classic. It's just, it's just for our streaming purposes. It's just because... If we were just plugging in a game, it would be a different story, but because we have to, like, send it to James's computer and then also stream it, there's just a whole series of things that need prep that's hard to do live. Because, yeah, I, we'd love... It would be a really good idea to, like... If we weren't streaming, we would for sure just, like, pull out other things, but this is a good compromise. Yeah. Because we want to play the game, spear fishing. No, what is it? Spear Not spe diver. Spear diver. Yes, we do, because we went through all this trouble over many months. There we go. It's on the SD card. Let's put back in the Atari box. Oh, sorry. Hold oh. on the little button. Got it. Atari. Atari. Spear diver. So just jump in? Uh, yeah, I think we're uh, prepped enough now that we can go for it. I that... swear I saw that. Yeah, man, me too. For like a second. So I think the cartridge is working, but something is. Something's going something's on. Something's going on. I bet on. you if we had your other, like, the, I wonder if the RGB one probably It would might work. work, yeah. There might be an incompatibility somewhere. Um says hi James I really liked I think you could let's let's go for it holy look at this guy uh oh I gotta kill these oh. fish right so oh. you're uh actually let's read the manual manual first because he was whoa oh, I just I, I ran out of ran out of air oh so you just have to touch them the button doesn't do Come anything on. Oh. oh 40 so they give you 10 well they're moving fast well the button speeds them up no oh I'm just getting lucky I'm spear fishing like Crazy. Your yeah, spear is sharp, guy. the water is dark, and the hunt is worth it. Oh, you the hunt is always worth it. <laughs> you jump yes. off the boat with a huge splash, dive through the open ocean to spear your catch and hunt for the lost treasure. Be careful, though. Danger lurks in the depths. On your adventure, you will encounter fish that you can catch to increase your score, as you're doing. Your score is tied to your air meter. The more do I have fish to you move catch... to a different screen, or do I just keep going down this train? Uh, he said it's multi-screen. Oh, I should keep moving. Yeah, so let's follow that fish. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, I just ran. <laughs> yep, you I, were warned. You I was were warned. warned about that. I was lulled. Into I think this it. is like the fish screen. This is where we can go fish, get our points up, and then once I have enough points, I guess I just push to the next. The more fish you catch, the more your air will increase. Your air is constantly depleting, so pay attention. Don't let your air drop too low. You surely drown. As you get closer to the lost treasure, the hunter becomes the hunted. Whoa, right? whoa, whoa. Oh. Uh, a giant squid and an angry shark will swim along your path and you'll chase you through the open waters. Your spear is no match for these beasts. Your only option will be outswim them utilizing whatever air you have left. Can you escape the tentacles of the giant squid? Can you evade the jaws of the shark that stalk you? You have to be brave. Outswim the ferocious sea creatures and you might just find lost treasure you've been hunting. That is, if you don't drown before you reach it. Spear Diver is an open maze chase game with elements of score and time attack built in. Increasing your score, air will be necessary Whoa. to get to the end of the game. Oh, it's... Can you not go back again? Or are you blocked? It's interesting. Your um, movement becomes kind of... I just have to get used to it. Your movement becomes very interesting when you enter into the next screen. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm just trying to like get up my points, but my guy almost like... Increasing your score may not always be as simple as it seems. Becoming too aggressive while caching fish will make you lose multiple catches and will destroy the hard work you put in. Hmm. It's true. Okay. I'm going to uh, fucking fight this. Remaining too conservative will prove inefficient in increasing your score oh. to advance. Well, it's weird because I push down, but the guy does... He zigzags almost. 
We'll probably get to it. Gotta figure out the thoughtful players there. will prevail. It is up to each individual how they choose to play the game. Will you try and finish the game with the highest score possible? Try going up or to the left now. Oh yeah, good idea. Let's try the left. <gasps> That's a good way <laughs> of getting it. Get a bunch. Do, 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 do. So this is... Can you go back? Go back. Go back. Oh, you can't. Oh, it stops him. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, there's a shark. Oh. Different tactic. Oh. Uh, will you try and finish the game with the highest score possible, or will you try and grab the treasure with a mere second to spare before drowning? The choice is yours. I see what goes on. So you, maybe you just maybe just grinding to like get Find a bit, some get some air, get a bunch of air going. Closer. Oh. Okay. Uh, you play as the diver. Let's your trusty that. spear is your weapon of choice. It works great against fish, but prove no match for ferocious creatures of the deep. Should you encounter them, be careful. You're an adept diver. <sighs> But you're... Oh, okay. Oh, treasure. Come on, treasure. Come on, buddy. What is this? You win. Oh, yes. By M. Curry. Nine, 92,000 something. Oh, that's badass. Uh, so you won. <laughs> you won the, the basic game. Uh, fish, are, fish are plentiful by the ocean floor. They stand no chance against your spear. Each fish you catch will increase your air levels. But for every fish you allow to escape... Spirit Diver. Did you die? Yeah, I did. Oh. Your air will deplete even faster than before. So if you let them escape, your air goes down? Let's see. Well, Let's I can't see. chase him. Oh, it does by 10. Yeah, it's interesting because I'm not fast enough to, to, to always get them. So stay in the middle, right? Yeah. Stay in the middle on the right-hand side. But it's faster if you stay on the left-hand side. And go dee 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 yeah dee dee. so i feel like the goal is to like get as much get a bunch up so like once i'm above 10 now i can push the schooling fish on the bottom of the screen is intentional to punish greedy players Ooh. why is it does it punish you oh almost almost Getting almost close uh you cannot go back once you move on you must go forward letting a fish get away will reduce by ten thousand. on the way out is through so it goes up by 10 or down by 10 Depending if you let them through. Uh, beyond the re reef lurks a giant squid, hungry for the next meal. Will it be you? A giant squid is large and can can be outswam, but if it catches you, it's game over. The shark is the most dangerous creature of the deep, and it's angry. As soon as it spots you, the shark will begin stalking you. Uh, faster and more cunning than the squid, you'll have to be brave to escape. The jaws of this beast so true okay lost treasure should you be swift enough to escape the giant squid and witty enough to evade the jaws of the shark that stalk you the treasure can be yours that is if you oh. don't drown before you reach it it's hard game screen description the game begins with the title screen press the fire button to begin the game okay, immediately you'll you notice your air done. decreasing at the bottom of the screen you have a finite amount of air and it's running out quickly Catch the first fish to begin replenishing your air levels. Beware, every fish you allow to escape will deduct 10,000. Uh, if your air meter drops below 10,000, you will drown. You will have to swim efficiently. Once you feel you have enough, have caught enough fish, replenished enough air to advance, the more move the diver to the right side of the screen to advance the next level. From here, there's no going back. You must Ooh. advance past the squid and the shark to Ooh. find the last treasure. I don't know how to fuck with this. There guy. you go. Ah, there you go. I got it. Okay, and then... Then you win. I want the secret, though. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, if you're caught by the squid, eaten by the shark, or run out of air and drown is game over, you will be sent back to the title screen, and the intro music will begin to play. Press the red button to be try again. Oh. We don't have a red button. Um, yep, controls. Yep, yep, yep. And here's the QR code. So, let's get a QR scanner. Yes, let's do it. I'll see the... Uh, this fish is just rip. It's the basic QR scanner. QR scanner. No! You cannot go back. Letting the fish get, uh, go down. Yep. Looks like the Pepperidge Farm goldfish. Very much so. Is that who it's made by? Goldfish is made by Pepperidge Farm? Oh, I don't... Like the goldfish? 
I don't know about that. Or maybe it's just. I'm not. Like, I don't mean. I shouldn't say I don't know. I, me saying I don't know about that sounds like I do. I know. I mean, I don't skeptical. know. Is in I don't. I I don't know. Mm. Like it could be. How are those fish speeding up? Is that random? You're pressing the button to make them speed up. It's just interesting when you when you move, they're slow. What is the button for? Like Nothing? look at this. So look at this. Um, super fast. And then now when I move, oh, they slow down. It's fast, so when you slow. Stop. Fast, slow. They go fast. Yeah. When you move, they slow down. Yeah. Okay. So that's why. Couldn't find figure out the connection. It's kind of good. Kind of weird. Kind of good. Yeah. Right? So my rule is like I wait till I'm above a hundred. And then you go for and it. I go for oh, it. Yeah. Okay. But this is where you almost want to get to the edge, right? Get one How more. does it punish you? He said it punishes you by, by doing this bottom fish thing. I notice no punishment. <laughs> I notice only yeah. an advantage. So this guy here. Take him down to the bottom, go way up, and then over. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the way to the do way. it. Try go right over to the right hand side. The game needs something a little too simple. It's for kids. Yeah. He man. said it's for kids. Yeah. Okay, we got the QR scanner. Let's find out. Maybe you should have stayed right there. Oh. <laughs> Waited till okay. I'll get back. Cause yeah, if I just chill on that side, Look. Okay. Scanning in the QR code. This is a tiny QR code. Well, I think it's gonna work. There we go. Oh, okay. Here it is. While coding Spear Diver, I purposefully left a known bug or Ooh. cheat to the game in the code. I personally challenge all players to find this hidden cheat. If you can find the cheat, record a small video of yourself, done, um, uh -oh. <laughs> performing the cheat, uh, along with a picture of your purchased box copy. Oh, we don't have a purchased cops box copy. We're fucked. We have a given We're... box copy. And also, I don't know if we should like reveal it till the internet. Or uh, should we? He said it. Uh, uh, I'll get to his notes, but he says it's really hard to find. Whoa. The first person, oh, the first person, I think somebody's already sent it in. The first person to send in a successful performance of the cheat will receive a special gift from the creator. Send the video and image to blah. Uh, thank you again for playing. That's so now right. I'll get back to his notes. So maybe it's on this level. Maybe it's with the fish. Maybe it was with that, like going all the way to the left. Like that seems like a bug. Well, then it stops. Not really, because then it's, they just spawn in different places, so it's like... There you go. What if you just stay right there? Collecting the schooling fish at the bottom left side of the screen will eventually trigger a fish to swim far above you. Once, you won't be able to catch, thereby deducting points. Oh. oh. But it's still worth it, because you get like three or four down there, right? See? Totally worth it. Oh. But then I can't get them. That's true. But if you stay back far enough oh, on the see, bottom... I'm dying. Oh, you did die. Um, I really... Uh, like This is him again. December 11, 2019. I'd like to thank you for your patience since the last time we spoke. Every copy of the game has officially been sold off. And the most recent buyer had over has had over a week to unlock the cheat within the game. Which would trigger a gift from me as a prize when proven. I wanted to give all organic buyers an opportunity to achieve the goal before you got your hands on it. As an experienced 2600 enthusiast. Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I don't know. We're just two dudes. We're just having fun. John Hancock actually owns a copy and he hasn't found the cheat himself. He's another streamer, oh. kind of video game enthusiast. Uh, very well known. Sounds like an 80s action John hero. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder how now how difficulty I really made it. Just so you know, the game has never been posted to Atari Age. I wanted to give my local area the first dibs to oh, my homebrew. Now I'm out of copies. Off. This is the final one, and it's going to be you going to you as thanks for all you do with Zero, no, Zero man, Pitch Homebrew. No, man, thank you. That's amazing. Without developers like you, we have nothing. I'd have to we make my own leeches. games. We are We are right. um, barnacles <laughs> attached to fucking... We'd have to play all the old games from the 80s and 70s, 80s, and 90s, and there would be no new games. You have to just keep rehashing. And, yeah, isn't Pac-Man suck? And people e. suck? would <laughs> fucking for sure make fun of how bad we are at them. Oh, yeah, because they'd, they've had so long to... It'd be to... like, I've been playing for years. Whoa. Same oh, same tactic you octopus. can use on that guy. He looks like the Mario octopus to me a little bit. Yeah. 
not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Um, I know many homebrew producers announce games on Atari Age midway or before final completion. I felt to do the opposite and only even mention my game after fully completed. I don't wish to be someone who announces a project they never complete. I can see that. I understand that, man. Yeah. I'm fucking totally... It's like, I'm going to make a movie. It's going to be awesome. And then you oh, never do it and many... people go, mm. I've done that many times. <laughs> Well, it's just I've I've stopped. My my bad one was I would tell actors about it and they oh. get excited and I was like, oh, sorry, I'm not interested anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean. They got a little Mario squib. squib yeah, he vibe. does. There's kind of oh he went right for <laughs> no. It's it's you'll see when you play yeah. it. Sometimes your guy just like kind of sporadically moves. Oh, maybe like when, there's when you go down, you almost sometimes end up like zigzagging. Maybe it's kind of current. interesting. Once you give it a go, you'll feel it. Uh, with that being said, however, I'm working on another game. And both will have tie-ins to a further project down the road Whoa. that actually completes the group, group of games I can uh, create. So it's like a trilogy or a quadrilogy. I love it, man. Together. Hope you'd be willing to try them all. Of course yeah, we dude. would. We're in. Um, Count me in. So I let him know we're playing the game on the show today. He said, hey, James, oh, very goodness. humbled over this. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> it's a short mini game, And as mentioned, it was really designed for kids. Yeah, it's a pretty good kids game. Like, a really simple, not too hard, collect fish, avoid the things. And those are a little bit harder. Like, you've died even after completing those. Well, yeah, it's not... You'll see when you when you try it. It's interesting the yeah. controls are... Mm. Um, it's just... It's interesting. It feels like you almost have to go... Like, yeah, it's... Yeah. It, you'll You'll see. Uh, my stepson actually picked it up again the other day. He still couldn't get past the shark after 15 minutes. I'm sure you'll get past as a seasoned player. You did. It appears not as easy, though, for children. Nobody's found the bug cheat yet. Whoa. Oh, so, there you go. Keep an eye out for it. If you beat it with relative ease, try your hand at zero fish speed run. There's another thing we could do. Uh, I'll do my best to tune in. Unfortunately, I'll be at the office at work through most of the day, but he did. He was able to tune in. Either way, I'll be sure to rewatch again on YouTube. You're, the content has been great. Keep doing what we're what you're doing. We will. Thank you, man. I've thoroughly enjoyed your channel. Can't wait to see what you keep bringing out to the community this year. Well, we have some big surprises, some big stuff coming up. So now we have two objectives in this game before we move on. Cool. One is to do a zero fish speed run. Apparently possible. Oh, my turn. This ain't so easy, man. So let's do the zero fish speeder. Oh my goodness! See it, what I mean? It does. There's a, like a current. There is a, like a current. You kind of have to. You kind of go laterally. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> The squid is is one thing. This guy, it's another. Oh no, he's really slow there. Hmm. Yeah, good for the squid, but he takes. And also, he ran out of air. Oh, I was too slow. Well, because oh, you can't really... Just sitting if there. you're doing a speed run, you kind of need to deal with it differently. I might recommend getting some like air. No, and... I'm doing a zero fish. Okay, cool. Almost, almost, almost. Because of the old... The old movement, man. This is totally in the theme of this month, man, for me. Yeah. My theme for this month is underwater theme. So reading Moby Dick, ah, I've been okay. like my notebooks blue, like everything I've been doing has been like keeps coming back to the to the to the ocean. Oh. God damn, is Moby Dick a good book, dude? Yeah, it's really good. Ah, that shark is different. Like the controls change on that screen. Yeah, man, you see what I mean? Where and so my tactic was to go up and then down real quick. So you, you, uh, you have to almost do it is like a perfect do it a maneuver. Bit before he gets to you. Yeah. Because he's, he's pretty quick. There you go. You got it. I still have to make it to the chest in time. Before 10,000. Bam. No fish speed no run. No fish speed run. 16,000. Probably... Okay. Well, that's it. And now I have to find the uh, the bug. So I noticed that when you were playing. 
Yeah. There's a little bit of a spot there. Spear over. But that didn't really bring up anything. Because, yeah, man, Moby Dick is all about spear fishers. People who are... Um, oh, what was that? I was just a oh, bunch I just of got them spawned real quick. Oh, I see. It's about it's about whalers. Right, catching cool. that one whale, right? Sort the of. The white whale. It, it is, but it's interesting because it's more about, like, these guys. Oh, what just like, happened there? Oh, oh I, think I you died and then reset. Gotta head out. See you guys later. See you later, D-Train. See ya, D-Train. Thanks for tuning in. So it's not that. My guess is it's probably on the second or third screen. I think so. Because that would be far... It would just be too easy to put it on this screen. Yes. Yeah, because there's, on, there's only so much. So let me get some fish so I have some time. I can't make it up there. Come on. Move faster. Oh, oh I got him. Sometimes the controls are very interesting. <laughs> yes, they are. They sort of movie from, from I don't left know if it's a right. controller or the game, but it's like it just pushed me to the right, as you saw. 60. 70. Oh, nope. Nope. Not going to get that one. Yeah, man. And like um, the, the hero of Moby Dick is Ishmael, man. Yeah. It's the opening line is call me Ishmael. And Ishmael is a Bible character. Right. Very, very unique. Ishmael How does that was, relate to the it, Bible character? Ishmael is the first dude to get circumcised. Oh, lucky him. And so there's something about that, though, the first person to sort of be thrust into the, you know, so something about, like, the, the like, being thrown into the depths, you know, like, being, uh, like, going into the unknown, right. you know. Is, but also, Ishmael is, like, the, really, like, the father of a lot of people. Like, there's something very universal about it. Mm. But it's just interesting. It's, like... And the opening chapter, dude, is this basically he's like, I want to kill myself. I'm fucking done with life. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go into the ocean and basically live a life that's different because I hate life on land. Like, so everything's a challenging, miserable. challenging, um, dangerous life because he doesn't care anymore. Well, yeah, he's like, I need something to Lighten change. It up. And then, he, yeah, and it's kind of, it's really, it's really neat. And, but also just the tone of it. It feels very, like, ah, very, like, off. almost like H.P. Lovecraft, actually. Stop it. Reading uh. it. Yeah. Really cool. And, like, the hook of it's crazy because he's trying to find this place to sleep. And he goes to this bar, and the bartender basically goes, like, yeah, well, we can let you sleep, but you have to share a bed with someone. Right. And he's going to show up later. He's like, <laughs> okay. He's like, fuck, man. He's like, I don't want to do that. So he tries to, like, find, but there's nowhere in town that's free. And then he tries to sleep in this place, and there's, like, it's so cold. And he's like, okay, I'll do it. And the guy hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> and then he lets him know. He's like... Well, he's actually, he's a spearfisher, and he's selling someone's head. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, he's decapitated people, okay. and he's selling their heads. And you want to sleep in the same bed and with he's this like, dude? like, what? And the dude shows up, and he has tattoos over his entire body. Right. And he's basically this, like, this whaler. And he, like, and he shaves with his harpoon spear. I was like, what a badass just fucking intro to a book. I didn't think that Moby Dick would be so metal. No kidding. <laughs> That's the most metal shit I've ever heard. This is very cool. Um, so, so this is the Spearfisher guy. And his name was... Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce the name of the guy he meets. It's Quihag or Q-Hag. Um, and the idea is, is that he's a cannibal. Like he's actually oh, like, he and ate all, the rest of the body <laughs> and all of his, um, well, all of his tattoos and stuff are from, he's like this sort of tribal dude. And so it's kind of neat because the historical side is all these old okay. harpooners okay. were essentially, um, you know, <laughs> whatever <laughs> these, uh, Just... these, these, these kind of like, um, not not you know seen as savages right because it really is a crazy thing could you imagine if your job was just to harpoon like giant creatures and bring them to land like it's an oh yeah this is like this spear diver man that's his gig like this dude's job is to run away from octopus and you know you have to have a death wish to go do that so it's kind of a cool hook like i never thought i just thought it was about a thing but it's neat it's about these people who basically in some ways have death wishes and are like well I, I don't fit in the world, so I'm going to go out to sea and basically hunt beasts. So he stops when you're on the left side of the screen, but I think that's intentional. I don't think that's a bug. So you have a bit of a, a time. Oh, yeah. But you can, like, go all the way over here and go all the way back. Oh, I died. But, yeah. And you can go back to the left-hand side of the screen and, and pause him again. 
Yeah, this is where you got some, you can get some great tactics. If yeah, you... so you can lead him up here, then go down here, and then totally avoid him. And then you're great. But I think, does that, it doesn't work with the no, shark. the though. shark is the hard one. And you also need more air. Yeah, to um, make it. To, to kind of do gonna that. you're going to fool around with it. Samantha, you're the hero that we d deserve, man. Samantha's thanking us for her shout out. Oh, it's true. You're it's you're the inspiration for all this stuff. And oh, there, there's a good run of fish. There we go. So we'll just get yeah, that some, guy up here. Some real Moby Dick vibes there. here. There. I love it. That's an easy way to get past that guy. Okay, now what's the what's the issue here? How do we? He just beelines for you, right? So yeah. this is where you need to like bring him up and then <gasps> down. See. That's interesting. When you're on the left-hand side of the screen, he does chunky movements. Ah. But once you're swimming in the open, he has more of a smooth movement. Load up. Okay. Before I lose 10,000. Yeah. Okay. You come up here. And I go down here. Okay. Let's see this this guy again. See now. Oh. This is beelines for you. Yeah. You, you basically need to, like, get him to go diagonal, and then that's how you dodge him. So let's try it. Like, I can't. There's no time to play around on the shark screen. So I don't think it's going to be on the shark screen. Well, that would be absolutely the place that it would be then. <laughs> that's my... I bet you it's on the shark screen. Maybe. Because that's... Because otherwise... Because um, everyone else, I bet you, has searched all these other screens. But I bet you... I, I, if I were a betting man, I'd say it's on the shark screen. Yeah. I, I'm going to look on the treasure screen next. Yeah. Because the shark screen is... Dead. Come on! Come on, fishes. Oh, even your score slows down. Yeah. But anyway, so just doing it fast is the best. <laughs> so we go down here. We go up and around. And you got him. And I've got a, quite a bit left, so let's check out this little let's corner explore, that's always kind of weird. Okay. I don't have much time, but it goes down slower when I'm moving, at least. Because could you imagine actually harpooning things? Oof. Like, if that was actually your, like, what you did to survive, man. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. Like, if you were actually had to spearfish stuff, it, w it would, like, be... I'd just be dead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty easy to spear fish, I would think. In, I guess in a... If you're... What, what you always see is them standing really still. And then you just like... Like this. Because you can't move, the fish will see you. And then you just and fucking you just strike. blast at it and so pull it up. It, I don't think it's hard. It's just long. Mm -hmm. It's a long process. And also just a really... Your mind and your body and everything would be totally different. Yeah. Because you just, like, that would be your gig. You just... So, I don't know what the bug is. That is... I, unless we already saw it. He's not going to reveal it, because it's but... still supposed to be out there for people to have fun with. Um, maybe it's on this screen. Maybe I can test the limits of the corners here. No, it's like the top corner. Oop, died. <laughs> Ran out of air. It happens, up a little you bit know. Here. Ugh. Nope. Come on. There we go. Doot. 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 There we go. Okay. Let's play around with this. Wasn't enough room. Led him too far to the left. Also, the controls betray you sometimes, you know? They do. Like, you're pressing down, but you're actually going right. It sticks. I think it is. it might be the game. Yeah, it's very interesting. Where it, it holds on to a right movement, but you're pressing down or up. Yeah, and it kind of kind of jostles you around. It's very interesting. So I can recreate that here. It doesn't seem to happen as much on this screen. I have had it happen on this screen. Anyway, it's a finished game. Can't really do much about it now. You just have to learn it. It's just interesting. It's like sometimes it betrays you a little bit. I think I've given it my all with the bug. Potential bug. That yeah. was a quick build-up. schools of fish right there. 
Oh. It's actually worth it. <laughs> Until it's not. Until it's not worth it. Uh, eh. Come on. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> Well it's, Only worth, sometimes. well, it's worth it until you get to like 100 and then you just go. Like you kind of want to like get a bunch, bam, 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 and, and then, then now you go. Head off the screen. Like I'm, I've got a lot now. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Can't lead him too close. But what else is there to do on this screen? Nothing, man. I guarantee you it's in the shark screen. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll try one more time on the shark screen because you just die so quick. Oh. <laughs> Why do the fish um, appear so much on the bottom? It must be in part of the programming. Yeah. Probably depends on your position. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Yeah, the only thing about your okay. tactic is you end up losing a fair amount of... You can do it pretty quick. Okay. This shark guy. He moves fast and then, then slow. And then you're... Well, you can kind of reset him a bit. If you go back to the left-hand side of the screen, it slow. It goes to, down to slow shark again. Let's get some fish. Oh! Come on, I think fish. if you don't get the bottom one, it doesn't turn into like a constant reset fish. I can't get that one. If I'm at the top of the screen. Yeah, sometimes you just get bad luck. <laughs> that was a terrible run. Yeah, and it's so hard because if you miss them, you miss them. And if you end up just swimming up and down. Yeah. Sometimes, and that's why, like, if you get above 100,000, I'm like, that's you're good. Done, enough. You're good. You're done. Ready, yeah. to, ready to fly more out. Than, more than plenty. These are like devastating when you have to do that. It's like up, yeah. down, up, down. Damn it. Yeah, I'll just stay back. I'll hang back. Yeah, I feel like the middle of the screen is where you want to be. Because yeah. then you have, you can potentially... You can get anything. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably go, go right I'll to the top. top. Oh, I'm going to go okay. after this, yeah. So he's fast, then you can reset him, then he gets chunky. But he's always coming at you no matter what. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Stopped him for a hey. second somehow. I couldn't, you just can't stay on that screen. Yeah, that's why I think that it's probably there because. Yeah. Because I just imagine that anything else would be. You can sometimes stop the shark. Somehow I stop the shark. Yeah, with his AI is. Yeah, he's a little funky. There we go. Well, interesting game, man. Yeah. Lots of good ideas there. I like the multi-screen, four screens. Some it Moby Dick Whaler vibes. Definitely a good I'm kids game because yeah. it's not too much pressure, especially the first screen. is like, yeah, just get fish. It's fairly easy to figure out too. Yeah. I love that your kids can't make it past the shark. <laughs> so good. Here, press the middle button. Cool. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, it's a huge letter, actually. Uh, lettered copies, so we don't have a lettered copy. Cool, so what's next? Uh, Zookeeper, um, it's the top one. Be cool. playing. Should I just jump in? Yeah, you played Zookeeper before? Once, I'm not very good at it, okay. but um, you Safety played it time. quite a few times, so. Oh, one wait. player, right? Let me get the volumes. That was great. I played it a number of times, and I bought the PlayStation 2 version of it, oh. so I can play the arcade version as well. Oh, so yeah, you're going to do better than me. There's <laughs> no question. So there's a huge letter here. Um, so you can just jump into this and start playing it. And I'll just read out the rest of the letter here. 
What I felt to oblige to include in this mini game title screen, music sound effects, and credit screen if one, three or more levels, four included. Um, switches on the Atari have been disabled. Oh, we didn't miss that. That's good. Harmony Games time. Yes, so this is part of the Harmony Games. So if somebody could record the high scores. Actually, this records high scores. So as long as you enter in your name. Oh, I should read out what the requirements are for this because we have to make sure we're playing on the right. Oh, I just did standard. I'm sure that's probably wrong. Probably um, advanced. No, I think it is standard, but the dip sw the switches have to be a certain way. Um, so this is the equivalent of the brand new demo that uh, John Champo released into uh, the Atari Age forums. We are playing the full game here. It's not the demo version, so it says everything in it. Uh, Harmony Games. Play on standard, which you were. Only four lives. Difficulty settings. Right doesn't matter. Left set to A. Bonus items in random spots. So this game doesn't count. So should I just die? Yeah, we'll just reset. Yeah. So now we're on the proper settings. Cool. Yeah. What makes this different now? Is it just... uh, the bonus items. See the cup of beer? The random? It's in random spots. Because the original is the other one's the arcade version where they're in standard spots. Oh, I see. Great lineup of games today, guys. Very humble. Thanks for giving it a shot. No problem. No man, we, thank you for making yeah, it. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Like, like just completing a game is a huge task. Just like making a film is just a massive amount of work. It's too much work. And yeah, it's too much work for what you get at the end. An hour and a half. Well, it's too much work when you're doing it alone. Yeah. And um, most of the time, the reality is, is that you have to do this work on your own. Yep. Um, so... Oh, there's actually only ten copies. And that includes the lettered copies. So there's actually six that were... Five that were sold in the store. One that is mine. And then there is a P copy, which is a prototype. Included mini posters different. Uh, the mini poster is a blow-up version of the manual's front cover. Um, C copy. This copy is a different placement of the cartridge holder within the box. Has no mini poster. J copy. My daughter's copy given her given to her years later. No mini poster. And instead contains a letter to her from myself. Oh my god, man. Wow. D copy accounted for demo copy supplied to Game On retail stores with locations on Long Island, New York. No game cartridge holder within the box. Mine did not have a cartridge holder as well. Just loose. Um... God, how much I enjoyed working on EPROMs before I tackled this oh, little project. Oh, God, I suck at this. <laughs> this. This level is hard. Like, a lot of people have trouble doing this level. There are some hints that I think Nathan Strum said. Hang out on these top two well, levels. It's hard with And you the... have to get in between when... Because the monkey throws left or right. And you have to get in there when he throws it the opposite direction. There you go. But then you have to hop over the monkey to get to Fuck. her. Because you have to touch her Damn. to complete the level. Okay, well. So put in your... It's not even worth it. No. Something. <laughs> it's at least a, an A or something. God. This is one thing I don't love about the old ones. You're like... Yeah. A. Number sign. <laughs> Oh, and Dan AVC is helping us out. Thank you very much, Dan. So you, you can put in garbage if you want, Dan. Cool. Because he's, he's keeping track. Continue. No, 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 no continues. Because we can't compete if we do continue. Correct. Damn. Um, let's see what else we have on here that's interesting in the letter. Hint for level one. The fish may appear to be schooling at times on the first level, showing up in consistent and large numbers at one depth on the game screen repeatedly. This is not a flaw in the code or some effect that was overlooked. It was designed in this way to see how greedy the player is willing to be. 
Oh. It works out actually pretty good. Very great. Squid's AI is primitive, but provides a formidable enemy for younger players. Swim, swim left to right to advance the next level. Level 3, you're now entering the domain of the shark. Here is depleting. Shark is more cunning than the squid and chase and stalk you more intently. There's a definitive strategy to get past the shark. And we did figure it out eventually. Beat the shark to the rightmost side of the screen to advance to level 4. Happen to beat the shark, you'll have to dive down to the treasure chest with all your area you have left. I've seen many die while trying to get to the goal with a minimal amount of air left. Reach the treasure chest and the end screen will play the credits to the author. That's it. Speed run. As a coder of this game, I do have a set numerical score that I feel would be best beat, uh, best beat time when completing this game, and I do think it would take some time to achieve it. I didn't put it on here though. I think I got 16,000 with my speed run. I could definitely do it better. You haven't got past this one yet? No. It's, it is tough. It's Some people are posting in the... um, killing what it is. Because, <laughs> like, now I have to, like, uh... I don't even know. Like, I work my ass off to get up to there, and it's like, <laughs> just get fucking things thrown at you. Yep, monkeys in the coconuts. And I'm not very good at platformers uh... to begin with, so. That hampers your. I've never been a big platformer guy. And the bottom slowly goes away, so it's huge danger. I like calculating shit. Yeah, stats and... Stats and positions and spending time, <laughs> pausing, reflecting, tactics. Smack. This is just dodging coconuts. I've included with this spot a package a couple of extra things. I hope you bring a smile to you. Just a small piece of gaming nostalgia that I wanted to share. A Mario Brothers napkin that I have not seen since I was a kid. They were printed in the 90s. An NES game cartridge sleeve from Funko Land. This game shop was one of my favorites as a kid here in the U.S. Bring back a lot of happy memories. Also, oh, it wasn't an arcade. It was a game shop. We don't have them in Canada. At least, that, I hope that at least this mini game brings you a bit of fun and enjoyment while you're playing. Enjoy your copy. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for all you do. All the best. Mike Curry, Lambda Technology Incorporated. Well, thank you so much, Mike. It was a joy to play your game. And... It's a great game. A lot of games are like single screen games. And his was four different screens, all very different. Great graphics. Good sound effects. Good theme overall. Especially the depleting air that you had to work on on oh, the yeah. first level. And once you're past the first level, you have to deal with what you have you left. You gotta like almost prep it, you know? Yeah, you have to like, okay. You have to grind a bit. Get your stats up, and then go for it, but there's no turning back. Like, oh, almost, almost, almost. So, this, since the last time we played it, Sorry. this has had a billion improvements, and I don't know if I want to read all of them, but I'll skim through them. I feel like I'm just fucked, man. <laughs> Like, what do we do? We just, we just like, the, the, the barrage of coconuts? My tactic is to get up there as quickly as possible because there's less coconuts. There, perfect. Jump up. Oh, you had it. It was open. Oh. Rip. It was totally open and free, but you caught your foot on the, there you go. Oh, no. Still had a coconut. I'm fucked. So, you guys, it gets really crazy with the coconuts after a while. There. Oh, no. Well, I'm just also not. I'm not. I'm not great at platformers, so it's oh, yeah, also. Yeah. Uh, I have to have skill though. So this demo version was released three days ago on Atari Age forums. So you can download this ish kind of game. Go to the right. Um, he says we estimate the game to be about 98% complete. Nathan Strum has graciously volunteered. Did you make it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. At least I made it. You can score for you. Uh, Nathan Strum has graciously volunteered to do the artwork for the game. We expect the full version to be available sometime August 2020. Oof. This is a fully functional demo with the following features disabled. So this is only differences between the one I'm playing and the demo version. Uh, save key support has been disabled, so this one is save key. 
You can still enter your initials and the high score at the end of the game, but the scores will not be saved. Additionally, your game options will not be not saved. Two player alternating is disabled. One player only. Uh, continue feature is disabled. In the full version, you're allowed three continues once your game ends to start the next game at the current level um, screen. So this is actually a very generous demo. Like, it's a fully functional game, That's except crazy. for continues. And I, I, I wouldn't be brave enough to put out a 98% finished game with these options. Oh, because it's like, oh, this shit. Yeah. This isn't even the hard level. There's another level that's even what? harder. Okay. That I have Rip. the most trouble with. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Good tactic, Fuck though. 86,700. Well, at least that's like... At least that's like, a, like better than nothing. It's, it's not terrible. You're on the board, I think. That is the comment I see about uh, most about the platform level. Yeah, it's it's not easy. But my tactic, like I said, just just go. Yeah, I go feel like your it. run is dependent on your ability to pass that level. Yeah. Because if you can, if you can get past those levels, I think you could get way higher scores. Oh yeah. Now I was watching. Like the record holder playing this game? I'm sure they just had tons and jumped over tons. That's that's how you do it. That's how you get the points. Is But he's able to coordinate the animals coming out so that they all come out in the same direction. Yeah, so he's able to like control that jump because the tighter they are in a cluster. Yeah. But he, he somehow keeps an opening in a certain spot of, of this brick wall. Where they all come out and go in like a left yeah, direction. Yeah, so you can just jump over just all of jump them. Jump a ton of them, and I have no idea. I can't replicate it because he seems to make the same pattern. That's just a tactic thing, you know, having the skills. Yep. And also with this level, keep calm. Just calm, calm, calm. Tact like really planned out jumps. Keep calm. That's right. So what I found, what he does, is he kind of bounces this little corner just a tiny bit. And that's how he keeps it open. But when I'm playing this game, this version, the 2600 version, they don't seem to come out in the same direction. They're just like random. Oh, so maybe it it's terrible. like a different style in a way, like a different program? Yeah, because uh, John doesn't look at the code from the arcade makes sense because he's got to he's got to adapt it to to be a completely different thing you know and he and he just um gets a feel for how the arcade works he comes incredibly close to the arcade version but if it's not playing the exact same kind of way you're not going to be able to use those types of um, special jumps there we go that's how you do it i think he said he broke a million this. Oh, that was a big clump. That would have been good. That would have been a good one. Oh, wow, you get a lot of bonus on this one. Yeah, because the animals are worth more. Wait, how did I get so many points? Because I've done like, a lot of jumping. I was at like 60. Oh, there you go. Now you yeah. No, no. no. God damn it. Right. Your jump isn't very high. It's a tricky he one. He calmed down the a, jump. Takes a bit of time to sort of figure out, I think. Damn it. Yes. <sighs> awesome. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't fuck with this. I just jumped. Scary. <sighs> And then on subsequent versions of this level, there's more. There's more. There's higher. Yeah, that level seems to me like a like a high risk, low reward. And you can die on it, and it, it calls itself a bonus level. Bonus levels, yeah, so you don't it's die like, on bonus oh, I, levels. I got a thousand points from it, from risking everything. Yeah, I I don't know why it called itself bonus. Level. Yeah, this is where you can jump over. Wow, 
zookeeper. It's a zoo. Damn, it's too many crap. there. It's too many. 120, man. That's good. In my books, that's good. It's good. <laughs> breaking a million. That's still great. You can break a million in like one jump. Yeah, that's, five... you're right, man. It's all about jumping over the ultimate, the yep. multiple enemies, man. That's and I the think that's, game. and that's the thing is, I guess it's a little bit of a luck thing too. Like if you happen to get a really good cluster, and maybe early on, and you can jump over that cluster like even three times. Yeah, when I was walk watching the record holder, he doesn't get all those jumps all the time. Like it's like there's a good. Well, that's one. a great one. Fifteen thousand. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. That's a lot. <laughs> But it takes a, yeah, a lot of practice to, to kind of time out the landing. One jump? It's ridiculous. 60,000 in one jump? But, I died. I died. but still, man, you bet you just got in one jump, you got as many points as my entire my best <laughs> yeah. go. Sorry. That's madness. No. This is what a crazy movie. Did you ever see 300? Yeah, it's insane. I've all, I only saw it once. I didn't really have a desire to watch it. No, again. I remember seeing that as a kid and just thinking, it's like, wow. This is crazy. It's so stylized. Like, it's so It different. almost looks like a graphic novel. It's crazy. Yeah. It's also... Damn it! It's also wild because Zack Snyder, man, that was his... Not his debut film. It was close break to... Through. And then they just gave him just so many fucking billion dollar <laughs> franchises and he just made bad movies over and over again. <laughs> what what is his uh what did he do after He had Watchmen and I he, loved Watchmen. Watchmen's not bad. I, That's his probably his best movie. But also Watchmen's got some goofy shit in it, if you go back. Oh yeah. Um, it's, it, I forgave the, it. I, I didn't mind the goofy well, stuff. It kind of worked. The thing is, is Watchmen is such a good story because of the graphic novel. Right. But um, but and then he did um, Sucker Punch, which is I didn't watch that. One. That's I don't recommend that one. <laughs> and um, Dawn of the Dead is his first oh, movie. Oh, I really love good. Dawn of the Dead. Um, God damn it! But then he but then he just did like Superman, Batman versus Superman, Justice League, like all those ones. Right, and that's when it went into the garbage. Well, yeah, because he's not a writer. <laughs> oh, did he write those ones? Well, he overviewed it, and it's always... And that's the thing, is, like, his best thing is adapted from one of the greatest, like, graphic novels ever. Yeah. It's, like, so good, you know. So let's go through what has changed since the first one. I'll, I'll just, um... Zookeeper... What a nightmare trying to just keep elephants. Such a such a difficult. <laughs> they keep escaping. They keep it's smashing the walls day. with their trunks. Get back in there. Okay. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, I got a whole twenty six hundred. So we can also. Um, cheat on this version that he sent us, that John sent us. We can skip levels, so we're going to take a look at some advanced levels ah, cool. um, after this. Um, like the lion level. Oh. Get tons of points Just on die? Yep. Jesus Christ. If you die at this level, you're fucked. <laughs> yes. That's like dying on the first level of Mario. You can't even jump over a Goomba. <laughs> Run right into it. Like, oh, you mean you have to jump on them? You oh, oh jump on okay, them. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Why are those mushrooms walking? What uh, is this plumber doing? So on January 30th, John messaged me uh, last night. I had a dream of how I could free up a bunch of space by implementing run length encoding on color data. Which I'm like, I don't know what that means. Um, there are a ton of graphics with similar color palettes. Uh, and I implemented it tonight and freed up 700 bytes. Oh, uh, that's fairly significant, so, isn't it? That is a good bit. <laughs> of course, I had to use this space to add in a few more features and bug fixes. Um, he sa says he also wants to add in a best jump feature that will show in the highest jump score you got in the last game. Hopefully I can squeeze it in. So like my big jump of whatever sixty thousand. Oh, that's a cool idea. Would be showing up in the in the high score. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Actually, it looks better in there. It looks way better. In terms of like the colors, the contrastiness, it's so you guys are getting a better picture than we are playing. 
Um, so that's what we like to do here at that's Zero Page Homebrew. Give you the best version of it. Um, so this is a 32k game, CDFJ. Last time we played it officially was December 18th, 2020. We did play it when we were doing the. Um, I remember playing with review. Darcy the first time. Oh, we were both here. Yeah, which was interesting. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, that's really weird. Oh, maybe that was during the review of the games. I don't know what was going on, but we were. I do remember us we both. We just threw it in at the end to play it. I think, I think. I think it was a Christmas special, wasn't it? It oh, just came out on Christmas, and we, it was, we both yeah. happened to be here. Yeah, it did come out. I think, it, I think that was December first, two thousand eighteen. I think that was a Christmas special episode. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Darcy was pretty good at it. Oh, maybe we did play it in that. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through these because there's like pages of updates. I, I'm surprised I keep track of all this stuff. Oh, you're doing much better. Oh, you're on your last leg. Yeah, you're almost to the end. Doing you can terrible. Pick it. Yeah. Get that net. But you don't get points by putting them back in there. You get points by trapping them all and keeping them there to the end of the game. And now they're all escaping. For nothing. But you now can I have get to the, somehow survive this. Fucking game. If you get the net, you can still jump over them for points, but not have the fear of dying. So that, so get it, get it. Yes. My hero. See, at least I'm beating my last score. Jesus Christ, I jump hate these this guys level. and then jump over that cage. Oh. Uh, Nathan Strum said jump there for this one and jump there for that one. Change it, change it. Don't take my name. Up, up, up. Well, this is an, it's terrible <laughs> points. I didn't do better than last one, so who cares? Oh, you didn't? Yeah, that's true. You don't beat your own score. Also, me and Uba have become good friends. <laughs> Uba, Uba, you're all about Uba. Him and A A A A. Password zero 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 zero. <laughs> Fixed a crash on platform level when Zeke would go to the left or right off the screen when falling. Uh, extended the floor playfield on the bonus level. Fixed a bug with the high score yellow when starting the game. Fix a bug when the end of level wasn't detected on the bonus level with four escalators. Good luck us getting to that. Fix a bug when sometimes the top bricks on the t left or right would not get filled in when you turned the corner from the top. Added round 7 to 12 with correct repeating starting with round 13. Added in save key support. Fix a bug where the play field would be displayed on the high score screen if your game ended on the platform. Yeah, welcome to, welcome to this nightmare. Yep, steady, slow. Yep. There you go. Oh. Why well, that coconut was coming at me? Yeah. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Coconuts every. Oh, oh, fell through the pit. Shorten the Zookeeper logo to be the same size as the arcade title logo. It's all about accuracy. Added a cheat oh, to the end to end the level immediately. Oh. Oh, that's how you get through it. Press the right difficulty. Press select with the right difficulty set to A during gameplay. Okay, so now we know how to cheat. And so we can take a look at some bigger, uh, higher levels. Damn it. Right. Uh, select. Press select. You guys should play two player alternating, but you'll have to unplug the box. And oh, John Champo's here. Hey, John. Hey, John. But you'll have to unplug the Atari box till the Quad Atari is released. Does this Quad Atari work? <laughs> John, I'm basically a Probably zookeeper doesn't. expert, and James is... Oh, he's doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing okay. <laughs> my score was not that bad. Actually, it was my first game. But I'm, uh, you know, an expert at this game. That cheat doesn't work anymore. That cheat doesn't work anymore. Oh, no. Oh. Well, how do you get to more advanced levels? Um, added a continue cheat to enable. Make sure the right difficulty is set to A. Continue the last game. Press the joystick button on the game over screen. Oh, well, that one's still But to advance levels, the skip cheat is now uh, select press plus a button. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So we want to check out uh, some of the higher levels. Got a couple bonus ones. Like my new composite Atari 2600 Junior, John. <laughs> Playing on a real system again, which is great. Which is the 
so we can use the Atari Vox and paddle games because there's some paddle games I've been holding off. Looks like you got the ta oh, there you go. You got the tactics down. Yeah, I'm now. sort of like figuring it out very slowly. This one though. There you go. There you go. Jeez. Oh. oh. Rip. Can you win a bonus keeper? No, I can lose them all. Oh God. What am I doing? How is he doing that? When you smash into the cage, it pushes you back. <sighs> okay, there's good, my good new job. brick wall. <laughs> 103, 810. Good stuff. Right difficulty is for solid bricks. Oh, right, right, right. I don't like the solid bricks. I like the flashy bricks. They look really, really cool. Okay. At least I broke 100. Continue better than nothing. Yeah, I think you're on the board pretty good because there's oh. a lot of people who have difficulty with the platforms. Really? So you might be. Uh, you have a good I, I can't even make it past the bonus level. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. The but. bonus level where you get extra men. No, it's where you die. Where everybody goes to die. Yeah, it's an interesting one because um, it's a cool game because you have to learn how to play basically three different games. Yeah, they're totally um, different. Which is, you know, and the tactics for them are not obvious. Like, it's not obvious how to do the platformer one until you practice it. It's not obvious how to, like, do well at any of them, really. You just have no. to kind of, like, die a bunch and then, <laughs> and then go, like, oh, that's how you do this. Which is pretty cool. I was dis John, I was discussing earlier about the world record holders um, gameplay tactics and about the animals escaping in one specific direction as they come out and that's how he gets massive scores. He sends them back in with the net and he's placed an opening at a certain spot on the screen so when they come out they go in one direction and then you can maximize... Oh, you bastard. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> My so you can hero. land on the platform, get points, and jump off the platform oh, that's again. that's cool. If you want, and then go back on the platform. I like the random um, things better than the fixed ones. Random? Oh. Random. Yeah. To me, it doesn't matter because I'm never going to memorize them. Well, yeah, and it's but that's just nice. It's nice to know that like there's a bit of an, a random element to it, you know? Yeah. I like that. So, John, if you get a chance to watch the record holders um, run, it would be interesting to see if that holds true. Like, so I can't seem to replicate it. But I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, or it's just not possible to do on the Atari version of the game. Because of... I know you don't use the code from um, the arcade. You don't yeah, analyze... Big cluster there. Ooh, that's a very good cluster. Oh, that's an okay. There's three of them. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, oh, oh my god. A good tactic as well, I've found, is hold down the button. Ah. Uh. Because if you're in a tight spot you and you happen to touch the floor and get in between them, you'll have another chance to clear the area. Damn it! It's a tricky one. Yeah. Too many coconuts. Problem to have, you know? Yeah, too many coconuts. What are those trophies worth? Big. Pretty good. Okay, man, they're, it's not bad. They're pretty good. Like, it's worth... It's not worth delaying it because it's, it's, I still have no so idea hard. how one defeats this level. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, pretty much the you, middle or You basically the edge. need to find a specific know what that position is. That you can... Yeah, because too close you hit it. Too far away you hit it as well. At least you get like bonus lines. That's nice. Yeah, that's true if you don't die. But it's so hard. It's so hard sometimes. <laughs> But I guess if you're real... Oh, here's a nice clump. Nice. And just run in circles, man. Yeah. Just... They, uh, they start to separate out because different... Um... Damn it, I missed the bloody thing. These because... are fast-moving moose, man. It's a very Canadian uh, <laughs> level right it here. It is. Um, because different animals run at different speeds, so the clumps change. Ooh, yeah. But getting that net and using it to jump with impunity is a nice little bonus. That's what I use it for. Is putting them back in is only useful if you're going to be at the end of the level, but the net's so far... Whoa! Too 
slumpy. There's just no room for me. Oh, god damn it. Uh, Quatari is a splitter box that allows two joysticks at a time, but up to four for the whole system. Be plugged into one port. Four joysticks to be plugged into one port? No, Ground Trooper, that's incorrect. Um, they were planning on that, but I believe it's only two joysticks. Oh yeah, and then he says it after. Actually, the design changed, so you can only plug in two joysticks in one port, which was very sad. Very, very sad. Yeah, because Because then you can have the Atari Vox and four people playing. Yeah. But that's okay. You can still play four players at once with joysticks. Uh, might want to drop the quad from the name then. Well, you can still have a breakout box like this. It just is all in one. Yeah. And you plug in the two ports, and then you have the four joysticks. And I think there's going to be two models made, an actual quad, and then two dual Tari. What if you put a quad on top of a quad? No, it's because it, it's not digital. <laughs> I figured it would. It's not a, like a digital thing. It's like very specific. Yeah, just keep adding. Just yeah, just more and more. Daisy you can have chain. Have thirty-two players at once. Yeah, if it was digital, then maybe. You can plug two joysticks in both ports for four joysticks. That's the name Quadtari. FYI, it's not something that I'm making. It's Nathan Tolbert. Should I try another one, or do you want to do? Another no, you one? go for the next one. Okay. Just give me a little rest. That wasn't my top score. Oh. It's a hundred time out. You put your name in it. That's fine. It was a hundred and fifty. Okay. Yours is two hundred and fifty. So yeah. It's you have a hundred thousand more points. So you're good. You get the right <laughs> jump. You can, yeah, man. Like one jump will do that. Well, you 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 had a sixty k one at one point. Yeah. That's pretty good. good cat you're not the troublemaker usually. Cuddles, come on. Come on. Come on, Atari. Come on. Good kitty. Hey, buddy. Is there a pixel column missing on the very right hand of the screen? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Let me fix that. I tried to. I gotta do this thing this is the first. And I can, I can actually do it while this is still going. Which is great. So, put the filters and that down a bit. There we go. Thank you for pointing that out. That should be better. There you go. Host cam is gone. Oh. Door open more, but there's bad cats. Toasty, toasty, toasty one. That's what happens when you operate a camera in 25 uh, degree temperatures. Yeah, it's three hours. It's pretty straight. It's quite, quite taxing. Yeah, that's, a, that's the only, one thing that's annoying about though this yes. lens is that it resets focus each time. It's like a canon yeah. thing. It goes zoom, zoom. It's like why, why? And then you can't do focus marks. Yeah. I think it's to test the the lengths of the focus, like the extremes. What? Well, yes. Yeah. Smack, smack. Oh, you made it! Nice! Hi. Well, this is the thing, is like, I'm the farthest I've ever been with the most lives. <laughs> but um, the lowest score. Yeah, because cause I've just been, like, staying alive. That's true. But it was also because you were crossing a lot, so I was playing very conservative. Cause that it was smart. I was like, oh no! I'm losing. I find this level kind of my breaking point, because... It, it, those moves are really fast, and there's a l after a while the number of animals really increases quite a bit. This one or the next level. Look, we just opened the door to cool things down, and you want to run around and cause trouble. Can you just lay down? Lay down. Okay. I think my tactic next time playing this level is just to 
throw all the moose in here and keep them there. Ooh, good jump. Oh, it just came out of it. That pixel might be missing on the left now. Ooh, you're right. You are right. Fix that, too. the green line or do you want the f yeah the green line goes right past yay 30k oh well you have to deal with the green line no then. at least i did better here's the full screen 129 oh yeah 129 that's your top score yeah oh my goodness two o'clock yeah that's what happens when we play four games <laughs> hey buddy Um, yeah, just hit and go for it because it's my one more? score. I'll do one more. Well, that's my score, so you can just hit oh, it yeah. no matter what. And... Do one more, and then we're gonna end it. Cool. Because we're really far into the show. Well, at least I'm I got. The... At least I got 129,000. That's not bad. It didn't display the s score when I got that beer on the side. Does it not dis oh, it doesn't display scores for. Items picked up on the side, it looks like. Is it trouble? Pixel. Should I, uh. Hey, buddy. It's plastic wrapping. I'm not destroying anything that's, uh. A universal fun tool. Bubble rat man. <laughs> Fun for everyone. Doesn't Even matter kittens. who you are. Hey, Arena. Hey, you missed everything. That's okay. You can catch it later. Yeah. We're at the last game. Throw it to the right. No. Ah, oh, I thought I could make it on. Because you just have to touch her. I don't think you have to actually land on the platform. Yeah, I think you just have to touch her. And then it goes boop immediately and places you down. Camels. Wow. There's a level of... I feel like there's an element of luck to jump over all those guys. Oh yeah, I should be jumping. Not trapping them for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, especially because you had a clumpster of like five of them. Yeah. There's a good one. You gotta like search for those jumpins. That's the only way yeah, to play this game. Yeah, watch for clumps as they build up. At least I was able to beat that bonus level, man. That was nice. There, go play there. Yeah, yeah, that's good because then you've completed all the levels. At least like, I, at least I know I can beat them, which is nice. Yeah. Now they just get. Hard. kind of game to play because you're upside down for some of it. Yeah, it's very strange, and you also have to corner it, too. It won't yeah. actually corner for you, which <sighs> when I first played this game was rough. It was so hard. Yeah. Psst. Maybe you should No, take that away from me. Yeah, man. Probably both ran away. Knew it's Hence up. the name Scaredy Cats. That's where that came from. Scatter! <laughs> It's crazy to think that, like, most cats, you just dish them in the wild, they'd be totally fine. Oh, yeah, most. And, like, most dogs would not. No. Well, I don't know. Would they? It's, I think some dogs would definitely struggle. <laughs> uh, I think oh, other I dogs see. would be totally fine. Like, in terms of breeds. Yeah, yeah there's some dogs that just lay down and die. Yeah, or they would just, like, howl until nobody comes. <laughs> Whereas cats are crazy like that. They have all these they, cats have crazy instincts, you know. Hunting. They're always practicing hunting. They're like basic apex predators we just let into our home. <laughs> yes. 
They just happen to be so small. Like now I know where else. to jump. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I just followed your advice and it and it went swimmingly. Oh, thanks for to Nathan Strump. It's, it's a technique Posted thing. Posted that in the target for him. So. From my, that's from my um uh my 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 uh, stepdad used to say to me all the time. I don't know why he always did, but he always say he said he said everything in life has a trick and a, and a technique to it. You just need to figure out what it is. That's he's he's kind of like, true for a lot of things. He's like you got to figure out like he's, he said any you feel like your first instinct is to work hard but he's like you gotta you gotta work Damn smart it. ah that clumps yeah you gotta work smart and he said much if, more important when you're figuring out a technique that's working smart yeah and, and it's true it's like anything has a trick you can just kind of like brunt your way through things but yeah that's the technique yeah just jump just like jump crazy. and hopefully you'll be near a clump I just want to make it through this bloody level. Ah! Yeah, it ain't easy, man. This one's like I think, death. I don't think one. I've ever made it past this level. Yeah, this one where I almost always die. That's close. Okay, Moose, you're just staying in here. I think they just get out really easily. Look at them. They're rampaging. Yeah, it's it, you have to like... <laughs> To keep building up. Well, the ideal is if they all go the same way. When it gets totally screwed is when they're going in opposite directions. Yeah, and then there's you have to really plan out your landings. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, there's our top scores. Uh, you got the 158. No, you did. Okay, so Airlines is 129.8. Oh my god. One... ACR. <laughs> 129,850 is Ireland's top, and mine is 265,450. Not. Oh my god. No, no. Good old no. XPT. <laughs> oh. Hell of a player, XPT. UPS. Oh, thanks, Dan ABC. There we go. Good. We're going to advance through the levels. Let's oh. go continue. Yes. Let's go continue. Yes. Okay. So we're not actually playing now. Uh, oh, no. What? I thought it was the select and the button. Oh, no. Did just go to normal? There we go. Uh, standard? Yeah. Can go for it? Yeah. Oh, I have to have this on B, maybe? Okay. Solid I like that 2020 right there. <laughs> Iconic year, really. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny. Mine is 18 million. Oh my god. 1.8 mil. Oh, 1.8. Different than 18. How do you do it? You said the button and select, but select just starts it over again. Reset resets the game, and select just goes back to the menu. You need to be in game. Yeah. So I'm pressing select. Oh. I just reset it again. No matter. Maybe I have to be there. Okay. Click on the button. Got it. Ah, there we go. Okay. It has to be switched over. Hold down the button. We're killing it, man. Just destroying these levels. You did it. Oh my god, man. I'm so good at this game. Just warping right to the top. Hold it down. Got it. Because if you don't, it resets again. Hold it down. Round four complete. Hold it down. Need to difficult in a. Oh, okay. Hold it down. Hold it down. <laughs> oh, here's the lion level. Okay. Can you hold in the lion? I'm gonna yeah, say. Put it in the middle. I'm, I'm gonna that. say no. <laughs> Ooh, there's a good one. I've never been to this level before. Whoa. Holding the lion? 
Yeah, at the end of the level. Just trap them in. Good luck. Oh, got them in now. Just make it to the end. Uh, rip. Man, lion is majestic. Man, is it all hell. Look at that lion. Oh, God. Okay, hold down the button. Especially Pixel. Oh, yeah. Pixel definitely makes a lot. Oh, <laughs> you got the points for that one. Yes! Hold it down. Dude, I'm so good at this game. Oh, now, see now there's three levels to it? You guys have no idea how good I am at sleep Do it. All right, do it again. Did that on your own. Yeah. And you got a bonus. Once you figure out this, the point to do it. Look at all those lions! Jesus Christ. Hold it down. But it did 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 it. See, you're just passing the scores. You already have a hundred thousand. So, what are these I... gems of some kind? Like, what are these boomerang? I don't even know what those are. Okay, hold it down. You get pretty big numbers once you get to the high levels. I'm just gonna let it go now. Because I think line is the biggest one. You're spoiling it for everyone. Well, they can watch the arcade. They can watch. Uh, this is much easier with Stella. Yes. 30 to 70,000 for each cap line you capture at the end. Yeah, but good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, good. You're getting better at this. There you go. Oh. I don't know how to like. It's just so Because there's like nine. There's like either side is just nothing but coconuts. <laughs> just no straight path. Racking up the points though. Yeah. It's just like either way. Screwed. Game over. Good stuff. No. Nope. Oh no, you don't deserve that. No, nope, we're gonna turn that Y P J gets it we're though. We're gonna turn that off. Do not save that. I hope that didn't save it. Probably did. That's not a real score. Probably did save it. <laughs> oh god, what a marathon. What are we at? Like this is three and a half, three three the R fifteen stream? Yeah. Whoa. I was kind of guessing that it might be that's like this today, just because... That's what happened. It's all good. Just because we had a lot, and there was an unboxing, too, because... That's and that thing. takes a while, you know, after we do things, you know. No, it's all good. We haven't, we haven't been on done doing the show yeah. for a little bit, so... you got to get back into it. Got to catch true. up. Oh, yeah, and, like, I got my surgery done last week. Yeah, um, that's great. So and that was the last of... Of these kind of surgeries that I'm going to need for a while. And that's why we didn't do last Wednesday. Yeah, and it's way easier than the last one. The last one was, it was like... was a tough box to open. Yeah. It was a fucking <laughs> You're difficult You're a tough one. box to open. <laughs> <laughs> I am difficult. Um, but yeah, no, it's just good to get it done and it's over with. And yes. it was a quick little operation and this one's way Slice. easier than the last one. Yeah. It's a weird thing though, man, when you show up to someone's place and they go, lay down, we're going to inject you with fluid... <laughs> to numb you and we're just gonna cut some shit out of you pull it out and then sew it back up and yeah. for him it's so normal he's like what are you oh, he does this all day long. he's like it's fine what are you doing why are you why are you upset why are you panicking like, this is a very weird thing to very just few do. people die <laughs> during this procedure very few of course it's just and like and you just and he was so like he was like you're a good man you have no you just get it done no pain no oh hurts it's good i was like yeah. okay i guess that's <laughs> oh my god but yeah it's just nice to be it's nice to be done so i'm like in a good place now oh good 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 um yeah so you're all healthy i think so good. <laughs> for now anyway we'll see that's good oh dan says he put up the scores our scores already oh on, wow thank you i appreciate on the that abc a lot. online website harmony games page thank wow. you so much for doing that for us hopefully we get some decent scores yeah, I'm, I, I would... I, I'd like to play it again. I'd be surprised if I'm, like, even top seven, like, eight. I would be really Me surprised. Too. I think... There's there's certain people that just dominate I feel like time. 500k... S, S. Ramirez... Puts always. you at, like, maybe third. Like, I'm, I'm thinking that third is going to be, like, 500k. Second is going to be, like, 700. And yeah. then first is going to be, like, a Over million. A million. I think that's probably going to be what it turns out okay. to be. We're kicking ass. You're in second place. You're the only two on the board right now? Ugh, see, that's <laughs> temporary. <moment. laughs> Very that's... temporary. 
temporary situation happening at the moment. Yeah. 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 I I think I will be at best low top ten. Yeah, a lot of people um But I'd like to play it again. On, on a later stream, oh, maybe yeah. just before it well, if finishes. You just, if you just did, when does like, it finish? It uh, when does it when is it over? So I can kind of plan that. Well, if you devoted even like just an, even like thirty minutes or forty yeah. minutes of just like I'm gonna try to like do well, but it's yeah. easier when you know what you need to beat. It's a yes. real it's a real tactic to that to knowing where the benchmark is. I think that's why you know world records are set based off of people wanting to beat world records because yeah. you know that's why you don't. Be, you don't get a world record you you want to like push to the next plateau you know yeah. april 6th so we do have some time yeah so we got maybe i'll throw it in a later show cool uh along the way so i'll keep that in mind maybe i'll plan it right now to just before the end it's a good call like, like you're saying so we know what we have to achieve is like oh i want to make at least top 10 or something yeah at least we know or top like five if it's even remotely just know possible. what the like what the but that's the thing is there's such a leap from like Third to second to first, I bet. James sets the scores on how many car games higher than I can reach. Usually, I get, I almost never get first. Yeah. I think I got first once, and then I'm in top five usually, and my consistency is won me something last year. Like, yeah. I did pretty good because I played every game. Yeah, because some people don't play every game. Yeah. <laughs> here yeah. One, here, whenever. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, some sh the sh next show is actually on Sunday for those people who wanted to tune in for the next one because of scheduling issues. But I wanted to keep a show. I didn't want to cancel it again. We have a uh, exclusive premiere of UFO LCD, unless Whoa. somebody gets it in the mail faster than I can oh. play it by Sunday. But I doubt that. I doubt that. Uh, we're also going to be playing a four games from the same person, I believe. Whoa, cool. Charge, Star Crusade, Armageddon Complex, and Circus Galacticus. And I just found out about this person. Looking just at like, a, uh, a bunch space of... vibe. Uh, I th there's a couple that are we space. Have Star, Armageddon, and Galacticus. Galacticus. Yes, Charge is on the land, I cool. believe. But a lot of them are, are, are in space. A lot of d WIPs, most of them. Uh, work in progress, yeah. yeah. But I think they're older, abandoned ones. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Yeah. Well, we need to see what they're like. It's like that um, that game I mentioned off the top of the show, um, where you're diving down into a chasm. That was last updated in 2006 or four. Wow. And I played it on the show, and he put out a new version. That's amazing. It does happen sometimes. So that's really nice that you know we can show off the game, a bunch of people get to play it, and then it gets updated. Pilot X, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, now it's up on the website. Forgot to put the score tables on the site. Awesome. So I'll check that out after for scores. And I'll keep checking. Um, April 6th gives us a lot of shows in between to play it. A lot. So that's good. So I'll schedule it just before the end. I actually have to update it even further yeah. to include that. So that we can uh, check that out. Um, but that's the next episode on Sunday. We're going to do it at noon. So an hour later than what you just saw. Not now, but three hours ago. Plus, yeah. Plus an hour. Whatever that means. Two hours, <laughs> it's bad news. <laughs> two hours back. Two hours back from now is on Sunday. Uh, but I'll post it everywhere, just like uh, usual. Um, and nothing else scheduled for a while. Um, I will fill them in as we get new games. Um, and now that we have an actual Atari, I can play, do some of my uh, high score or patch competitions. See, that's great. Yeah, because I've been putting those off because we haven't had a real Atari for a while. And there's still two games, uh, three games, that I need to do homebrew patches for. Ah, oh, cool. So I may just dedicate a whole day to that. You should do That'd it. That'd be fun. Uh, tire tracks, you have to get a gold cup on game one, two, three, and four. Astronomer, you have to get a high score of 20 or more. Which I think I'm... tire tracks is doable. We've I've been close I've, to that. I've done one, two, and three. I don't think I got a gold on four. I think, yeah... I think we got gold on four at one point, yeah. but I think it was like it's hard. It was it was like a one. It, it almost felt like an accident. Yeah. I know I for sure got silver. Yeah, but yeah, gold. It's be. I think that's super doable. Astronomer. Yeah. Uh, 
That's hard. My top is 11. so random. That's it the is. hard part about it is it's just... It's, it's one of those games you have to keep playing. Kind of like Zookeeper to get the good jumps. Yeah. So you just have to play more and, and more. I hope that it all comes out. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey. And then Ooh, Daredevil, skin. which I think I can do pretty good on. But he hasn't posted what you need to Ooh. get the patch. Because Daredevil hasn't been released in the box yeah, yet. And I'd be careful about saying you could do well at it. Because who I'm, knows? I feel I'm pretty good at it. But we'll say. see. We'll yeah. see what the challenge is. Yeah, because I've got a lot of tactics for Daredevil. Um, tire tracks is memorization. Because yeah. the tracks are exactly the same. So it's and up, down, left, middle, up, down, And once up, you get down. it, you get it, you know. Yeah. So uh, that is the end of the show today. Thanks for hanging out with us for three hours or Hell more. Yeah. Three and a half almost. Um, including Dan... Oh, you're all spitty. Dan AVC, Arena Foot, uh, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23. Thanks, John, for making that Zookeeper game. Yeah, it man. It's incredible. And he has let me know that there's some big things coming up for, the, for releases. And That's we'll get news. some exclusive premieres. Maybe even secret exclusive premieres Ooh. that I won't even know. Oh. Just like the last time with this uh, game right here. That's uh, Galaga. That's money right there, man. Oh, yeah. That's, that's fun. That's a fun thing. Um, Dan AVC, Thrust 26. I think it said Deals Arena Kilo, Foot. Deals. Ground Troopers. Uh, Carl, Carl G. G. Lamb. Attack. Thanks yeah, man, that's for, Mike. Thanks for Captain the game. Captain Classic, D-Train, um, some people off the top. Thrust. Ricardo, Ricardo. Pym, uh, who uh, also did uh, one of the games, Asteroid Attacks. We had uh, three out of four yeah. of the developers here. It's that amazing. Is, that's a bonus of watching this show. It doesn't, yeah. We get you could talk directly to what the is people. Todd Howard fucking tune into someone's <laughs> goddamn Skyrim? <laughs> yeah, like never, never, never. So that's that's a big bonus of watching it, and I really appreciate these developers coming in. It's so fun, sending man. Sending me their games, sending me their updates, their exclusive premieres, and we get to play them on the show and show everybody, and then they can go and download them and play the games themselves. It's a win-win for everyone. Oh, did you get him doing that, or is he just itchy? He's just itchy. I've got him doing that before. You, you trick him in the right doing spot. Uh, RC70. Uh, that's as far back as we go. Oh, L2DO2DL, who posted in Reddit and kind of connected alert, us up connected to this the whole dots. Yeah. Business. For the first game, Spiderweb. Gorf! One of them probably will be Gorf. But that one has been announced. So yeah, we'll see. We, we'll see how that goes. It may not be, may not may not announce which one it is, but we we will be playing Gorf, I think, at some point. Thanks, Dan. We love the show too. Yeah. Um. So we played Spiderweb today. Fun game. Yeah. Good concept. Moving around. Uh. Being a spider. The uh, the cover art is vastly different than uh, the gameplay. <laughs> it's because it's like a big spider there. And he's shooting out like a web to catch things. Maybe that was an early yeah, idea. Yeah, and I wonder if we played that on like Stella. It might have like might look a little bit better because that one yeah. I felt like struggled the most with its translation Visuals. too. Yeah, the other ones I didn't find it at all difficult. Yeah, it, I think it was the the contrast, like you were saying. Yeah, and and who knows? Yeah, Asteroids Attack, amazing, fun game. Uh, some game balancing things can be can be had, and I he was here, so he listened. Yeah, he listened to us, and not much. It's already no. pretty decent. It's got some good stuff. But we want... could beat it with a couple adjustments. I think I could make all to the third level. Yeah, second level not too bad. First I messed one. up one time, but uh, then the mystery game, which was spear diver. Yeah, man, some spear diving. Awesome. Thank you Some so much for send, sending it over to me. It was lots of fun. And, of course, Zookeeper, which was amazing, as per usual. It's yeah. great to play the updates. I didn't get through the list of what was updated, but it's like a hundred different things. So go to the Atari Age forums where you can download the demo and play it yourself. You oh, can't yeah. use some of the funky things. like There's no continues and saving scores and stuff, but everything else is there. Like You get the whole game. It's it's great. So thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll be back on Sunday and then next Wednesday, Correct. barring any crazy complications. I don't think there'll be any. No, no. I think we're pretty good for Wednesday. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it's a busy month. It is a busy month. 
Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. See you next bye -bye. time. Bye-bye.